Like, no, nah, I gotta Hello. finish this game. Hello. 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 Hi, Dutch. Mm -hmm. Sup, 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 gamers. Gamer oh. subs. <laughs> this stream is brought to you by Gamer Subs. Fucking wish. Is it? I'm just kidding. Guys, don't drink energy drinks if you just sit and play video games all day. Don't drink energy drinks full stop. Unless Gamer Subs wants to. Gamer Subs. Uh, unless they want to sponsor us, and then we take that's them back. Dude, that's the million dollar deal. We'll also take a monster sponsorship. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah. Really, actually, I hear the contract being ripped up. Oh. <laughs> energy drinks don't care about D and D content. Okay. <laughs> True. Which they should, because like if some D and D session, like... the average the average D and D session, I would say, is longer than the average casual gamers like gaming session. So we have more use for needing the energy and just yeah, away. but uh, but jokes it's not about staying awake for nine hours and then. I said the casual drink? gamers. <laughs> yeah, like, but no. energy drinks that, that market casual. themselves to gamers is like ultimate performance energy aim yeah. call of duty shoot fast kill those kids you know it's yeah. like huh? <laughs> dude what's like the, the most D, D drink out there like a fucking tea Meat. the most D Meat. drink Meat. yeah i mean okay or just ale non there's this really really cool oh, like -alcoholic, alcoholic spirit that comes in a bottle that has like a dragon's Honey. eye on the bottle and it's like Honey. like swirly glittery and like looks like a healing Water. potion that it's probably that Milk, oh, milk why, from why a druid shapeshifted into a cow. <laughs> Elderflower <laughs> cordial. Oh, that's a good one. Cordial. It's grim, don't do it. Yeah. What, don't milk a druid? You wouldn't milk a druid. <laughs> it tastes like I like milk. No, I'm I would milk cow. trim. That's about it. Okay, let's not open up that. Dude, I would milk trim I'm, in halfling form. I'm mildly <laughs> uncomfortable. Okay. Uh, hey gamers, it's Sunday, <laughs> hey. which means it's D&D &D day. We're here. Hello. We uh, missed out last week because half the, the crew had something to do all of a sudden. So uh, here we are. Losers. No. Imagine having something oh, no, to no. do. No, no, I was sick as fuck. Let's yeah, you were fair. sick. Mate, that's yeah. sick as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I was getting drunk on my boss's birthday. So. I mean, that was, that was pretty, pretty lit. I was also getting drunk in Vegas. <laughs> there you go. So how was the, how was the Vegas trip? Besides it like was... eating shit and like bruising yourself like, top to bottom. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, that is hands down probably I think the most drunk I've ever been in like in like a decade. I think it was that trip, <laughs> and yeah, my my knee is still a bit fucked up. But other than that, it was great, it was okay. a great time. <laughs> Very good. Um, I'm excited to be here, guys. Hope you guys are in, uh, are feeling some D and D because um, today should be should be a fun one. Should be should be good. I'm scared. Um, we're not doing anything of weight today. What do you mean? Huh? We're not doing anything of weight today, so. No, 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 no. Just cash, cash sesh. Casual, casual, casual sesh. Um, Each sesh. Yeah, I'm fucking ready to get started. Before we do, uh, looking at Laura, any announcements? Anything you want to... Yes. Um, next weekend, uh, along with an episode of Dungeon Select, we'll also have our next Call of the Nether Deep session yep. next Saturday, yep. which is very exciting. Uh, also, for if anyone watches my streams this week... They might, they're kind of being hijacked by some wedding shit. I don't know how many of them will actually be able to keep up the games we're playing because I have still like 800 or so paper flower petals to cut out before Friday to, for wedding decorations that oh I'm making. God. So Fucking the man. only time I have is also stream time. So we're just going to be doing some artsy, craftsy chatting streams while you hang out with me while I cut paper for hours. Please keep me sane. Please come hang out with me while I cut paper for hours. Or hang out or, or watch the stream. Redeem all the sock hands you can get and, and not, force her to no, cut. Banned, banned. Not even allowed. Cut the papers while socks not are allowed. being worn. Can we? Can we? Can we? Not allowed. Cut, Absolutely cut not. Wedding decorations, but with jump scare alerts. Uh, only <laughs> the only alert is it will only be on like a tip alert. So only if you pay me money to buy more paper that I fuck up after cutting this one all wrong. Honestly, fair. Can we start so a it, betting pool for how many paper cuts you'll get? I mean, I've already cut like a hundred and not given myself one, so <clears throat> I'm doing okay so far. Rookie numbers. Right. This time um, next week, we're, there will be no dungeon selects. Laura will be in the hospital, missing fingertips. Missing yep. fingertips. Yep. She's yep. now yep. jinxed it. Because I'm only using scissors. As long as I don't have to use a mandolin, my fingers are safe. That's the only thing that I've ever actually lost a finger, so it's fine. Amanda Sassy, Lynn, thanks for your reset. Bluegrass? No, like the, the kitchen vegetable cutting device. I know. Oh, okay. It was just a funny joke <laughs> about the little guitar. I was going to make the same joke, but I thought better of it. So thankfully Duke's here. I'm just <clears throat> dumb. It's fine. Well, I mean, 
Nobody's perfect, I guess. Um, <laughs> anyway, swiftly moving well, on. Speak for yourself. Oh, I, I do have one more, I guess, kind of <laughs> oh. um, tentative announcement, which Dutch might also know. So th this year, obviously last year, because of both like IRL commitments for the people that do the behind the scenes design and planning for Charity Select, as well as just life things, we didn't have any Charity Select campaigns last year, but the plan was to come back bigger and better this year. And we tentatively should be ready for a spring campaign in april yeah. so i know that's age it feels ages away but it's not it's only like 80 mm. days away plus less. i mean so. plus dude april's gonna be a busy month yeah that's, that's, yeah. that's the only thing about being april is i obviously won't be able to stream as much as i usually would for charity select because yeah. i'd be a wee bit busy but we could do a charity select stream with the people that are like all like we have a bunch of us in one room for a charity select yeah, yeah, stream doing something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. IRL D and D we'll that I won't be there for. for Dude, we just had a fucking Koiba roommate reveal through the crack in his door. Bro, <laughs> bro, the lore. <laughs> God bro. damn! Oh, Clip it, chat, <laughs> zoom and hands. Find <laughs> <laughs> this guy's identity. We, we need to Talks remember it. we've got to respect the privacy of Craig's carers. True, true, true. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, I don't usually look stupid. How much would I get paid to do that job? That's the question. I'll come out of retirement for uh, no amount of money in the select. fucking world. Bro, Corp is my goat. All right, me. shut up. Talk you wouldn't want my ass. Yeah, basically, if you're a, a streamer, start thinking of incentives, maybe to get the brain flowing. If you're just someone who watches our streams and you have something that you're like, I would donate money to charity to see this happen, then tell us so I'm we can start writing IRL them down. Stream and ideas. At Laura's wedding without her knowing it. Guys, 10, and I won't go any, any of y'all are allowed to IRL stream from the wedding as long as you don't like dox anyone or say like we're here at this address <laughs> or whatever. You can stream from. That's the exactly what you have to do. Yeah, that's that, like, was the, that was the plan. That's the, that's the IRL streaming way, yeah, you know. I was planning on IRL streaming for like a half hour at some point for my like, and the the really late we're all sloshed part of the night without the phone. Do some IRL streaming oh. for the chaos. Have fun. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I've decided I'm just gonna FaceTime in from like 13 hours away just to like be the day I was there, you know. Do it. Um, I mean, the, yeah, I mean, charity select's gonna be fun. It's gonna be good. I'll come out of retirement and stream a little bit because I basically I don't really stream anymore, man. I do, I do YouTube content though, you know. If you're into World of Warcraft, we'll yeah. pick that up again. Yeah, you put up another video yesterday, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, that's, that's been a fun little, little thing. And just me yapping about the characters in that universe and, you know, all that shit. Um, anyone else? Anything that they want to put out there our before they start? Oh, true! Oh, so it's our Belle's birthday in a month. True! So it's our Laura's birthday in a month. True. Fucking yeah, right. Uh, we have fucking three... Have it's my birthday in two months, Man, we guys. really hate March. Yeah, Laura's not getting anything. We're all going to a wedding. I know. Not I'm not even doing anything for my birthday this year because it's going to be too close to the wedding. I'm going to be too busy anyway. Like, mm. even IRL, I'm not I'm not doing anything this year Dude, for my birthday with friends. The fact that that's only Your like wedding's that. basically like a birthday celebration. The, fa the exactly. fact that that is only it's like two everything. and a half months away is kind of... 82 days. I'm getting to the point where I'm like... <laughs> Don't remind me. We've still fuck, got things I, to I need for. so much shit to do. I, I need to... I need to... I don't even. I need to get clothing for the event, bro. Yeah, I need to. to what we're gonna do, do you have your plane tickets yet? Huh? Because now's probably a good time to get your plane tickets. No, well, that's that I have. That I have. I still have to get oh, okay. the uh, permission slip. Like, hey, yeah, you're allowed to get into Canada, but I have the, t the plane tickets. <laughs> I don't. We don't need one from the UK, right? I don't think so. You, you still have to we do. We do. You electronic. do. Electronic. You don't have to whatever. do a visa. You do an electronic visa. Like, just to you basically ETA. let them know that hey, I want to come to Canada. Is, is that what you use instead holiday. of a passport? You basically? have to. Mm -hmm. No, you, no, you still need no, a passport instead of a visa. You have to pay them a whole seven Canadian dollars, and they yeah, go yes, yeah, fifteen. And they go yes, you're not a terrorist. You can come to our country. Wait, I didn't have to do that from the US though. Yeah, you don't because it's from in from the US. Uh, yeah. land border. We're just cooler, bro. I don't know what to say. We, the thing is, we have the same queen. They should just be letting us in left, right, and center. That's fucked well, up. Well, I mean, I could even Sorry, apply for a king. special... Yeah. <laughs> I, I was about to say you're uh, a little late on that one. Because when I, when I was living in the UK, I literally was living there after my student visa expired because there was a special visa that only basically only countries that were former colonies of the UK could apply for. So Which is half the I world, to be for, fair. Yeah. So I could apply for this visa that like a U.S. Yeah, okay, person Dutch couldn't. Empire. Like, but no, the US, oh, wait, wait, well, well, we used to be a colony too, though. Hold on. <laughs> the U.S. were on the list because you guys left. Well, yeah, angrily, and guess what? The we U.S. can travel to the U.K. for fucking free, or well, not for free. We didn't leave angrily. We left with a boot up their ass, but you know. That's angry. That's. <laughs> anyway, and um, boot up our ass and tea in the river. It's fucked up. Yeah, it's yeah, fucked bro. Up, Fuck tea, man. 
T's kind of mid. You're not wrong. Um, <sighs> okay. How really much fucking mid, Lipton sparkling iced tea do you drink? If it is that, can you consider that a tea though? Let's be fucking real. Yes. It's in the name. Like I hate to agree. Yeah, but like it's it's a sh it's name. a fucking soda. You know what I mean? That just happens. This to man, them. but it wouldn't exist without tea. Okay, uh, fair, 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 fair. The the hypocrisy coming from the DM's fucking chair right now. This All right, tea's I'll say it because I don't manifest. drink tea. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I mean, I also don't like tea, but like to slander Even. it and then be the Lipton iced tea addict is wild. And then to s slander the British Empire when you're literally Dutch is. <laughs> Yeah, but we like the Dutch. They make good cheese and throw waffles. I was gonna pull the what language are and you and the little with? fucking spice cookies that I got when I was there. I forget what they're called. Pepernota. 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 Yeah, you can only get those that like three fun. months out of the year. They're fucking great, dude. I like I'm little really ginger, angry. like a lot. That's just a, a lot, a lot of ginger. They're like yeah. little spice cookies, pretty much. Yeah, yeah if it's we're like... talking about Dutch food. I'm really angry because you can't get cast angles here. And cast angles are fucking ship... fire, bro. You can't ship them. Yeah, the British just have shit food. So I'm gonna have to make some. I mean, cow stangles, all it is is just a little bit of cheese in a fucking like uh, yeah, 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 spring roll wrap. In a spring yeah. roll wrap and just fucking deep fry. Yum. Also, my stepdad, right, bless his cotton socks. He bought me some cheese, being like, "Oh, I know you like your cheeses," and he bought me. He's like, "I bought you some Dutch cheese." So I'm thinking, "Oh, oh, what's he bought me?" No, it's literally it just says Dutch cheese on it, and I'm like, "This, this is some." I know you like your some, cheeses. Yeah, this it, man brought a whole fucking cool bag full of cheese back from holiday. Like, yeah, I, I spent like sixty euros on cheese. Um, the cheese I, he bought me, it, it's like a in a little. It's a little circle. It's got like a wax out seal, and it just says smoked Dutch cheese. And It'll <laughs> probably be an attempt at chowder. Yeah, it's, the, it's right? an attempt. Classic. It's definitely an attempt. But it's, I guarantee you, it's not made here. It's probably made it there, and they just no. It's know. it's not. It's it's but like. Dutch cheese. Yeah, it's you know. the English take on what chowder is, I guess, is like what, what that's it, meant it. to be. Which, I mean, cheese is cheese. It's man. okay cheese in fire. recipes where you can't taste it. But, um, I don't love cheese. Anyway, um, any cheese? In <laughs> sorry, I fucking love cheese. God, I fucking <laughs> love cheese, man. Oh, God, Laura, if there's no name. cheese at the wedding, we're not cheese. coming. Oh, there's cheese at the wedding, you're fine. Fuck yeah. <laughs> um,. What Anyone else have anything thing? that they want to say before I uh, we get into the recap and, and, and get going? By the way, launch uh, to Aspire, uh, if you haven't already. Already done it. Shout out my little oh, brother. His uh, birthday's in four days. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm doing it. Um, no, that's a, no, no, no need to apologize. I'm just saying just make I, sure they have it launched. How dare you? It's, it's up now. I'm in. Which means at some point I will stream because Sassy and Virus bullied me into a, a once a month minimum stream. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. So... I'll stream at some point in February. Paul, Yo, Valentine's Day stream, do a dang sim, easy peasy. Only if you do it with me. Fuck no, I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm busy being sad and alone. Oh, oh, being... oh fucking Christ. Dude, okay, no, 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 Steve do a Valentine's training. Day stream and then stream fucking, like, whatever dating sim you want. Stream the fucking Dead by Daylight dating sim or the uh, that's, that's Dream that's Daddy or whatever. KFC, KFC dating sim. The KFC dating sim. Oh my sim. god. Oh, uh, the fucking, the fucking monster. Dream Boyfriend one. Dungeon. That's the a real one, it's a good one. one. A toeful boyfriend. Kind of. Isn't that one like really one fucked up? Called. Yeah. Now the boyfriend's just about birds. It's just a. Uh, oh, which is the one that I'm thinking? Think dinosaurs. You're thinking of Doki Doki Lich. Got back. Yeah. No, there's another one. It's in that same vein though, but there's another one that's like really fucked up. Why anyway, do you stream it's a quite a few. Too? I'll be I honest, just... there's just quite a few. Yeah, <laughs> like no. it's just its own genre. Yeah. I will just drive to one of the lads and have a date with them on Valentine's. Not it. Do it. I'm working. Not it. So. I'm, I'm not. I'm not driving to you. Fuck off, Dutch. You, can uh, you can't reject me after I rejected you. That's fucking pathetic. Cringe. I'm not driving to the Netherlands for a day. I already rejected you. Why is this a thing? Shut up. You didn't even put out last time. <laughs> I already rejected you. Why are you making this a thing? Acting like you want to reject me. You can't. I already rejected you. Fuck you. You can't reject the rejector. That's weird. You're being cringe. Ethan, you can come over here anytime. Just make sure you let me know. I don't want you to get the that I would have traveled that far for you. <laughs> what happened to Craig's yoga anima? Exactly. <laughs> That's not happening. <laughs> I mean, live on stream. <laughs> oh god! So everyone's no, because I mean, it's not happening. I'll forever hold over Koiba's head that we played gay chicken on stream and he lost. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> the alternative is that there's a clip forever 
of us kissing. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and so many and words of you on the internet. <laughs> yeah, like, what's, what's wrong with having um, a clip on the internet kissing someone of the same sex, Koiba? Huh? True. Like that. No. Nothing is wrong I mean, with that. If anyone wants to play with Koiba's dub, what you chuckle fox will do with that and be like, yeah, but you can start every three fucking seconds. Right? That's awful. That's it. It doesn't matter that Dutch kiss me. No one cares. It's like, awkward because Dutch. That's what happens for the next like, four years of my life. Oh, oh like any argument would be like, puts the clip. Koiba, <laughs> yeah, we like, never hold still, anything over your head. <laughs> we hold o over you the fact that you didn't kiss him. Yeah, so, yeah but can you imagine the levels if he did, though? That would be <laughs> yeah. so much worse. I'm just, wait, 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 how come no one's making fun of Dutch? <laughs> because it's it's oh, Dutch has no shame. <laughs> Koiba is nothing but shame. I, I, it's I, way funny. To be fair though, it's because Dutch doesn't give us a reason what Koiba does. Honestly, yeah, yeah, I have respect it more it's if been years of him. bullying. <laughs> it's alright, Koiba, you're my goat, it's okay. Anyway, D&D, anyway, am I right, guys? Goat. Oh, God. <laughs> alright. So. Last we left off, guys. Hold on, I need a moment to... Capture it. Okay. I think I'm ready. Um, last we left off, the party had left Alpha Deal together with Grodir to head towards the uh, mines nearby where the Arcane Guild is investigating an Arcanite seam or or just ground very rich in Arcanite. Um, because Grodir knows that hidden in that same mine is an old altar dedicated to Grumbar, the uh, Earthen Elemental Lord. And that's where you're headed. Both to have an audience with Grumbar, but also to retrieve an artifact known as the Heart of the Earth. Um, which, you know, could, will provide useful in, in, in the days to come. Uh, on the way there, you got ambushed by a group of... Um, group of nightwebs, um, <clears throat> which at first glance were a group led by uh, the elven woman you met in the tavern. But then it turns out that all of these nightwebs, or the ones that you put down at least, uh, were actually changelings. So now you don't know who was the real who, or if the people... If they even exist, the, the, the whole changing thing adds a whole new layer of what the fuck, who is who, what is happening to to this, um, to this uh, organization. What Lazarin does know, and I forget if he made this known to the group. I think he did. <clears throat> is that the fact that they are now sending their changeling uh, members to deal with you guys does mean you've moved up uh, up the order, or the priority order when it comes to you know things that they want to deal with. Um, uh, Elazrin got really close to getting abducted by this group, uh, but thankfully you all um, managed to stop that from happening because that would have been real bad and that would have derailed <laughs> this uh, this leg of your journey so quite a bit. Uh, kind of funny though, but um, yeah. We're, we left it off at the end of the fight. You guys kind of like catching your breath, recovering. Um, so around you there are now four dead grayish people, uh, changelings on the floor. The rest of the group got away. And uh, we'll just, yeah, we'll just pick it up from here. You, you just, the fight ended. You guys are all kind of catching your breath. Um, you, you got ready to, to head on out again, continue the, the, the trek. Anything you guys want to do or discuss on the way? These mines? I feel like we've already had the uh, in-character argument of... Yeah, we were, we yeah. were shooting the shit for a while, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think the last one will be keeping, like, near the front. Um, um, I'm pretty quiet. I um, am annoyingly as close to him as I can be at all times. Okay. Did uh -huh. we search the bodies of the people? You haven't, I don't think, but I'll say that if you want to roll investigation now, we can retroactively say that you did, Smile. I cannot, but if someone else would like yeah, to, I'll do, I cannot I'll, physically I'll touch do it. Them. You can, it won't be very successful, but... <laughs> I'll do it. Okay. Uh, investigation. Ison. Big 11. 
Okay. You find a grand total of 29 gold, 7 silver, and 3 copper pieces. Cool, so I find 29 gold. Okay. <laughs> uh, and you Let's find 2 potions. One, uh, make an arcana check. Let's just see if you recognize these potions. Uh, natural, oh no, is that one or seven? Hang on, I gotta try and find the You're other number. The wrong people, mate. I'm talking to myself, you. Anyway. <laughs> that, okay, that's a seven. So that is, uh. Arcana. Also, oh, nine in total. Um. I don't think you've seen this potion before in this campaign. Mm -hmm. Um. But what okay. you see is a. It's a white liquid, and there's some, like, you know, some toenail clippings kind of oh, nice. floating in it. Um, <clears throat> I don't think you've, you've you've encountered this potion before. I, okay. I rarely give these out because they're pretty fucking ridiculous. Um, okay, the other potion... Sorry? I don't know. Uh, I said I... potion of hill giant strength. Yes. It's one of them. <laughs> it's a potion of a certain giant strength. You don't know which one. Uh, you have no idea. I've, you know, which one... Uh, we'll, leave, we'll leave up in the air for now. The other potion uh, sure, you do out. recognize, which I believe you've used before. It's a potion of resistance, but it's a potion of lightning. Shocking. Well, no. The opposite. Not shocking. <clears throat> Ducting? Juicing? <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, so that's what you find on Ooh. the four changelings that... Uh, well, actually, no, you find another vial. Uh, and you find a vial of drow poison, the same poison that they use to uh, Fuck yes. incapacitate you. Cool. Nice. I will give the our uh, white potion to uh, Brooks. The fuck is this? I don't know, but it's got it's got a toenail in it. <laughs> right after rally. And then I will keep the others. And Yeah, everyone everyone can have five gold. Oh yeah. Aw. Uh, someone has to keep mine portion on them. <laughs> <clears throat> because <True>. my gold <laughs> is currently with my body in Kess's space. <laughs> well, that's right. I tell you what. I'll hold on to it, but you can make a note of it because I'm. Tell you it. what, you what, mate? Okay. Oh shut the fuck you up! You what, mate? All right. Uh, and as you travel um, with with Grodir leading the charge, the uh, the Earth Ganassi monk that uh, you've met, um, eventually you come up on a slight hill, and inside this hill you can see the like there's there's this tunnel entry, and as you enter this tunnel, you walk for a few minutes to reach a large dugout chamber, torches lighting it all up, and there's a bunch of tools kind of spread about. And you can hear from deeper in the mine, uh, you know, the sounds of, of digging and, and people talking. Uh, but in this immediate, like, entryway, there's no one there at the moment. Um, you see Grodir kind of approaching a stack of boxes piled in front of a wall, and he just looks at uh, you as a group. Does one of you please assist me with this and he begins to like kind of moving the boxes aside and asking for one of you to, to assist i just point at brooks mm -hmm. I'll, I'll help yeah so <clears throat> you and you and girl here begin moving these boxes they're not super heavy uh but there's okay, quite a large pile they uh, rattle around is there uh they do there's mainly just like tools <clears throat> and, and that sort of thing Hammers, pieces of just like iron bars, um, torches, a bunch of torches as well, and some 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 wood to kind of help construct some some foundations as they go deeper into the mine, digging out more. It's um, so tempting to just pocket something that is utterly devoid of value, but just for the sake of doing it. Uh, that's called being an asshole. Um, and eventually, <laughs> once space has been uh, made. You can see Grodir begins to put his hand on the wall and mutter a few words, and the entire wall just <laughs> crumbles into this fine sand, revealing a dark tunnel behind it. Alright, hurry now. I don't know how much 
longer these workers won't show up. And he's basically ushering you all to like enter this the secret tunnel. As we're going in <clears throat> secret tunnel through mm -hmm. the mountain, uh, can I just ping my night web detective? Sure. Can uh, I sing the secret tunnel song? I I literally just referenced it, but okay. Um, as far as as far as the range on your night web uh, detecting goes, uh, there's nothing. Okay. Uh, uh, will you <clears throat> let me know if that changes within the next minute, please? Yes, sir. Um, <laughs> as you've all entered, he begins to mutter a few words again, and the entire like wall that previously crumbled is is set in place again. Um, hiding this tunnel and cutting it off from the rest of the, uh, you know, the, the known path within this hill. Oh, so we're sort of fucked with that one, then. Uh, it is dark as hell. Like, it is pitch black, so Grodir will light up, spark up a torch and kind of, like, aid you with some light. And, and... I will... I'm also glowing. Not true. I will use Eyes of Night on everyone. Okay. So we will... Oh, I'm shy. <laughs> Hey, 300 foot dark vision there you go. for everyone. That's right. his favorite thing, obviously. <laughs> so, from here on out, it is a bit of, you know, unexplored territory. So, I'll keep your wits about you. I have not been further down these tunnels. Um, well, because I was instructed to wait for you. And here you are, so. Do we think maybe we should be a little, a little quiet as we make our way through here, or...? Should be alright. The deeper we go, the less likely it is for people that are mining up above uh, to hear us. But I think we'll be alright. Yeah, yeah. this, uh, this tunnel stretches out quite far, <clears throat> and uh, you begin to follow this tunnel for a good 30 minutes or so. Um... Uh, in this, during this 30 minutes, uh, you can kind of, um, what's your passive insights, just like everybody? Uh, 24. Insight? Okay. 13. 13, 12. Um, 12. 14. 14. 24, okay, so, all of you can, can tell that Grodir is very excited to go down this tunnel you, you know very excited to travel to what's supposed to be this this altar to his you know to his to his to, to his lord to his master of, of who he is in, in service of um Lazarin, you can also tell that there is some semblance of nervosity he you know he's excited but there's definitely some some nerves there, and uh, like like he he seems anxious but excited. Okay. Well, just keep it to myself. He's excited to lead us to the trap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. After about thirty minutes of of this, it's not a super steep like decline, but there's definitely you've definitely been going down the entire way pretty much. Um. And, and and taking some turns, but there's n there's never been any like arching paths. It's always just been oh, there's only one path to follow. Yeah. Um. So he's just kept on following it. Uh, you reach this this more open chamber, but kind of oval in size. Um. And this is the first like T section that you reach. Um. There's two tunnels leading on, one eastward and one westward. And and Groder kind of looks back at uh, back at you all. So, what do we think? That's all right. You're the. Isn't this like your whole? I've never thing? been here. This is this is new to me too. What, what does left? your intuition and religious feeling or whatever well, tell you? Also, we're we're trying to get down, right? Does one of them seem to descend, and what, more so than the other? Make a perception check. Oh. Hey, that's not bad. Uh, 17. Uh, about equal. 
Like, both seem okay. to descend. Um, okay. And to Grody will kind of, like, look at you all and, and, and yeah. say, well, yes, but also the fact that there is a temple down here, some, an altar down, down here somewhere doesn't m make me suddenly all-knowing when it comes to the path that leads to it. I mean, I sure, think we should go left. What what feels right to you? It's you know, if any, if we're gonna go on gut instinct alone, then this is your wheelhouse. He begins to think and then looks at Elazarin. What does your gut tell you? I will. Can you make take me like it? Oh. While you're doing this, can you make me a survival yeah. check and like describe what you're doing as you? Okay. I will be sort of taking a deep sort of breath and almost something like meditating, such going into like how I would for prayer, mm -hmm. um, like two walking and sort of I'm just, I like habit holding on to um, my necklace. Uh, that is an eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah. Okay. I sort of breathe out. You kind of feel this 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 ring that you got given uh begins to kind of tremble a bit uh, are you are you wearing it currently is it is it on your finger i am wearing it yeah i put it on straight away it, it begins to begins to tremble a bit and you feel that it's drawn to something ancient that lies beyond the tunnel that heads west and uh, i'll sort of as i exhale just go west You can, you can see Grodir, like, approvingly nodding. It seems that... Well, with your path of insight, it seems that he did know, but he wanted to... A bit of a, a test to okay. see if you... Of course. You know. Talk. Very well. Yes, it is. <clears throat> Alright, so you guys... So slowly push a Lazarin ahead of us. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I will... I will... Like walk slightly ahead, but not like not too far at all. Like literally maybe five feet, but semi sort of taking the lead. As you walk down the tunnel, getting closer and closer to where you're headed, you can't help but feel this this sense of, I mean, for lack of a better word, the sense of of, of purpose. Like this has been something that. You are meant to do. Dare I say, this is this is your destiny. Like you feel very much like this. I'm supposed to be here. This is this feels right to me, and you can't quite explain where that feeling comes from. It's it's quite odd, but it, it does feel right to you to to walk down these halls and um, you know, get to the altar. Um. Eventually, uh, this, this western tunnel leads a lot further down, and the descent becomes a lot more steep, to the point where <clears throat> the air gets, 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 gets a lot thicker. Is it thicker? Um, the air gets a lot thicker, um, and this semi-naturally formed ca cave tunnel begins to look a lot more man-made. Handmade, I should say. Uh, and you can see that the, the more and more you tra travel and traverse this tunnel, you can see that the rocky walls kind of get replaced by a more sandstone, smooth material. And you start seeing depictions of, of all sorts of things. Depictions of a, of a large earthen creature kind of overseeing this, this, this army, this... 10 times bigger than you've ever heard of. Um, all of you make a perception check. Oh, I'm not good at these. I, Ooh. no, I used my good perception roll for the day, apparently. I rolled a 7. I rolled a good one. <clears throat> yeah, 20. 24 for me. Uh, 28. 
Fucking dirty. I got a dirty 20 and... Okay, so everyone except for, uh... <laughs> I'm distracted Dragon. by a shiny pebble uh, on the ground. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. You, are you all pebble. walk and stop when you all look at the same, uh... mural, shall we say. It is... A mural depicting all four elemental lords, accompanied by their champions. And see that Estisha, accompanied by a blue gentleman. You can see Grumbar, accompanied by somebody that does kind of resemble. Lazarin. And you see Kosuth accompanied by someone that does resemble Davian. And you can see Grandpa Blue accompanied by somebody that does resemble Kes. And they okay, seem to be in, in this like meeting. Like, there are these four elemental lords and their chosen champions meeting. And this mural seems ancient to you. <clears throat> I was just, that was going to be my next like, question. Like, How old like, does this thing look? <laughs> like, Ancient. It was made I, yesterday. Yeah, I... How, like... So we're talking like same age as Jax. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One or give, or take, years, give or take, give or take, yeah. yeah. One, it's one or two years different. Maybe two it's Jaxes, different. you know? <laughs> it's actually only half a Jax. <laughs> and uh, what you also see is a large group of hairless tabaxi walking around kind of assisting the elemental lords and their champions one of which also looking very familiar a striking resemblance to a certain hairless tabaxi that you know yeah it's glowing and everything well not that <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't actually, part of the prophecy <laughs> you dying was not part of the prophecy <laughs> It's on the floor with an X over the eyes. Mm. <laughs> and then there's the one more thing that you see. Don't do it. You see a group of dragons led by a larger dragon. And it looks like Brooks. <laughs> a large dragon with one head for each color attached to one body accompanied by someone that resembles bro cool. no fucking shit i just pissed kill my him now kill him now boys yeah, yeah it's, it's the same like you motherfucker <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, and you all see this, except for Diagon, who is too, distra <laughs> too busy getting distracted going... dude's Raskil, <laughs> Raskil's back boys mm -hmm. well Team at baby. How, how good's this resemblance, Dutch? I was gonna say, like, what? It's like the exact same tattoos as you. It's pretty. It's 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 you know, it's it's pretty uh clear. Can I? This is a weird question and probably not the easiest thing to glean. But mm. does this look like a prophecy, or does it look like a capturing of events that had happened? Same thing. Oh, make. Um, hmm, hmm. Can you make, make me both check. an insight and an investigation check? Okay. I'll start with the Thanks. investigation because I can roll that with advantage. Okay, so the investigation is a 17, and the other one was insight? Yeah. Mm hmm. It's just a 13. Okay. Um, you, for the investigation, you're looking around, you can see that uh, this mural that you're looking at is part of a series of murals that are depicting a certain scene. Um, the knowledge that you are supposed to partake in a summit between all the elemental lords at some point with you present it makes you feel like this is some sort of prophecy especially with the knowledge of Estisha 
no longer being a part of the the group, so to say, but was depicted here because mm. his betrayal was not uh, something that was expected. Um, so this, the, yeah, this is, seems very prophecy, prophetic. Yeah. Don't like that. The, <laughs> Don't yeah. love that. The. Kill Brooks now. I say the. You don't need to. Figure, it's already. It's already not true. The figure it, that is with the <clears throat> five-headed dragon. Does it look it's like? It's more than five, isn't it? Or just the colors, not the chromatic. Chroma it's, it's, it's all the okay. chromatic dragons yeah. so far. Yeah. Okay, got you. Yeah. Um, Red, blue, does it look black, like green, white? Something like that. Does it look like that they are there as like a champion of the dragons, or does it look like they're there? As someone who's been like placed in servitude of them, Ooh. like do they look there like they're there willingly or willing like... participant? Yeah. Make an insight. Oh, I fucking win. But these technically, things. even if it one. was a prophecy, we only need to put some weight to it because it's already not going to come to pass because Estisha has already defected. Yeah, Therefore, he could uh, he could kill us all in our sleep tomorrow and make it not true. So I know, but I'm just I'm, saying, if anyone sees this, goes, "Oh, this is gonna happen. Brooks is gonna betray us." I'm like, I mean, technically, it's already highly unlikely to be true, but that is upsetting to my core. It was on 19 and it natural one. I Aww. called it. <laughs> you don't know. You have no idea. It's hard to it's hard to Can't say. Tell. That plus 14 comes to fucking nothing. Yeah. <laughs> plus <laughs> 14. <laughs> So I could have. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, know I'm not, I know I'm not attacking right now. You have no idea I'm doing this check, but still. <laughs> I'll allow it, bro. I'll allow it. I'll ro roll lower. <laughs> so I'm like, how'd you roll another one? I don't know. Well, what would I celebrate barbs, though? Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because really you would re roll a dice, yeah. but you'd still take oh, the lowest uh, result. Uh, I mean, but then natural. I'd give you advantage on your next thing, which you've already done. So it's like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no, that's true. Um, so, okay. Is, you is you the need mural... a Intimidation Wizard. On stone? Yes. Is like on the sandstone actual. Like painted or? Um, paint, uh, there's paint, there's carvings, there's like some some like so, gems kind of studded in to kind of give a detail. Can I, can I like where Estisha is mm -hmm. on the mural? Can mm -hmm. I like put my hands against the stone and like heat it up, like burn it and just smear over Estisha to like completely obscure him with like soot or like a like burn mark or whatever okay as you do this oh god <laughs> what did you do the you entire chamber begins or chamber the entire tunnel begins to kind of shake uh... and grodier has what's going on and sees what you're doing and the entire mural changes uh... what you see now i don't like this is the three elemental lords. Oh, for fuck's sake. And their chosen champions. That's still there. The throne up on, upon which Estisha is supposed to sit empty. <laughs> but Jax is still standing in front of it. You still see the hairless tabaxi. Um, the biggest change that you see is the dragons. Uh -oh. They have suddenly become come a lot closer to this gathering. <laughs> you can see this five-headed dragon leading the charge with this <clears throat> individual you previously saw beside it, now riding on top of it. Oh, fun. That's so much worse. That is so much worse, dude. So we're killing him now, right? No, 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 no. Um, why is... Brooks on top of the dragon? Yeah, I don't know if this is the time of the place, but Brooks, you're probably going to have some explaining to do. You're looking at me like I know what the fuck is going on. Oh, you Why? know by fact I'm inside checking the shit out of this man. Go on. Go on. <laughs> I'm still looking for danger. I'm not even am looking I, am I, I'm rolling against it. Uh, yeah, just roll deception or persuasion. Yeah, that is a 25. <laughs> what if it's a so he has to roll a natural 20, basically. Going for unsexy. Um, or, no. No, I don't. What if it's so you go to that would be 65. Mm -hmm. I need an 18, a 19, or a 20. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got a 20? What the fuck was that? That's a 25, Dutch. 25? 
Oh. oh. Did you also roll 25, Koba? I rolled 25. Fuck it, rollies. Rollies. Straight rollies or modified? Straight rollies. Straight rollies. Can I silvery barbs? I prefer gay rollies. Natural 19, <laughs> baby. Let's go. Roll the oh. nat 20. Oh. oh. Damn. Okay. Um. So. Oh. Brooks is hard to read. Um. But. Then again. With all the things you've been through with Brooks, if he truly was on the opposite side of this conflict, that signal signs would have already been sh shown, and, and there's nothing of the sort has shown yet, which makes mm. you believe him when he says that he has no fucking idea. It's a long con. Mm. Um, <clears throat> so we've he all is had wanted, vision. right, in uh, a different part of the continent. What are you going to say, He Chase? did drag us to Sorry. the Shadowfell and back. <laughs> for his own gain. Uh, we've all had visions surrounding this particular... Oh, have you? That's news to me. And well, no one asked, so I didn't offer it. Oh, yeah, no, no, no one asked. That's a u usual question that comes up. Oh, have you had any prophetic visions about elemental uh, Well, you and, uh, you and Elazarin did talk about yours, but... Uh, I Sort of goes without saying, doesn't it? I mean, and yes, well, you guys actually have like direct connections. I had never seen a station till well, the only real dealing we've had is the bitch queen. No, you see, Grodir and during this pets. is like listening to you, looking at you, but he's, he's just kind of like you know, observing from afar. What did Stisha say to you? What did you see? It, well, I, I don't remember much. My memory's not what it used to be. Surprising, I know. But it was just, you know, very ocean-related. It seemed to it, speak of a father, a, a more... It, uh, of a destiny, you could say. At this point, by the way, Lauren, like, Dagon has seen the mural. Like, at this point, okay. Dagon knows his destination. <laughs> We're doing all this shit. Dagon's yeah. like, <laughs> like, trying to, like, pick it up over and over again, but it's not Dagon picking up. Dagon has been made aware of, of what's going I've on. Been, I've just been keeping an eye out in the tunnel. I'm waiting for, like, enemies and monsters. So I'm like, I don't even care. Just looking. <laughs> we have a sentry dog. We have a sentry cat. Yeah. <laughs> I just can't help but that if we all, if we three had visions, I would imagine Daigon and Brooks had something as well. No? I will look towards Daigon. I'll look towards yeah. Brooks. And... Yeah. I thought Daigon I told you guys dragon. about it. Did I not? I think you only told oh. one person about it. Oh. You told one person. <laughs> oh. <laughs> True. I mean, I you believe you probably refer to your usual confidant who isn't here <laughs> yeah i think it was brooks well, yeah the wasn't it brooks that you no, i thought i was, I I was gonna be oh, i was gonna be away for like laura was gonna be away so i think i messaged ethan if it came up you oh, could tell the group right, that right, i right, right. saw this like he never that's told what us i saw anything. yeah maybe uh it never but, came up yeah. okay it never well, came up so i'm not giving yeah. away your secrets yeah, yeah well i mean i kind of just saw this like I saw some other hairless tabaxi like me and they look to be not like enslaved like against their will or ha or in any way oppressed but they were in some sort of servitude or at least part of their daily life involved um helping or like providing some sort of service to some ele like the elemental lords and it was in a place that again that matches the names with the the, the people that I do come from that we never really understood the names of the three clans since they don't really go together because they're very different climates but was it the same place that you've uh, been searching for the like meeting of the yeah. lands or... yeah I mean I in all honesty I was for a while searching for it but it was more because I thought it would bring meaning if I could find this place or I could then return to my my home and my clans and I'd be accepted because I solved the mystery of where we came from but then I realized I have no need to prove myself to them anymore anyway so I 
I kind of stopped really being that invested in finding this place, to be honest. Like, it would be great if I could. It'd be fun mystery solved, but I don't feel the same need that I used to. look anything like the mural? Um, I I think so, Dutch. You said it looks like Yeah, it's not the exact same, like, picture as as you have in in your head of it, but it's... I mean, it's close enough. And, and for all you know, that exact picture or that exact imagery that you have in your head could be an interpretation of it that, that, or, or, or could very well be around the corner. But like the landscape and, and whatnot does kind of... You know, if it's, like, it's going to be anywhere, um, it's, you know, yeah, it's probably going to be there kind of thing. Yeah, basically, I'm trying to find my journal entry on World Anvil. Hold on, because I have journal entries about it. Um... Da, 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 da. Here we go. Sketch of the clans. Lord, Lord needs to remember her own lore, because um, <laughs> the the names the names of the three clans where I came from were, um, or at least like the three types of terrain is like 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 heavy snow, heavy windy mountains, um, like really like peaceful gentle sand dunes, and then um, like bright caverns. So like caverns that have some sort of like bioluminescent like air to them and those are not three things that are typically mainly the most conflicting one where like the whole snowy mountains peaceful desert doesn't really match yet we had the tranquil dunes and the like jagged peaks clans and they don't really fit this is where grodier kind of like butts mm. in well it doesn't make sense unless you happen to be at a place where the elemental lords aligned nature's Laws don't really apply there. Furthermore, I have perhaps some answers for you in particular about this group of Alice Tabaxi and your origins, if that's something you'd like to know. I mean, maybe sure when we stop and make camp for the night or something i feel like right now we have other pressing matters and i kind of have a general picture now of where others like me came from what they do i just don't know physically where in the world it's located but it seems more and more like we're gonna end up pushed there at some point so i feel like it's gonna everything will become clear with time whether i keep trying to find this place or not so all right all you have to do is ask. Yeah, I mean, I I would love to hear when we when we get to a stopping point for the evening. All right, sorry, I won't butt in anymore. You take your time and let me know when you're ready to leave. And he goes back to kind of observing. So, Brooks, what was your vision? Look, I. Literally had a vision two nights ago that I just put down to being a bad dream because I've had more than a few of those recently. And I'm, to be honest, kind of getting a bit fed up with seeing you all fucking die in visions and dreams and shit. So let's stop doing stupid things. But... I... I don't... I... This is fucking beyond me. I... I saw some... some Demon shit. I saw... That fucking... Dragon. Uh... Bad vibes. Real bad vibes. Did you... Did they say anything to you? The, the general the general vibe was that I by my nature am somehow linked to demon shit which <sighs> tieflings are complicated right like we're we're not all the same we're from different bloodlines and... likes yeah and like, far as I knew, I was not in this guy's fucking wheelhouse, but 
apparently I am, and as far as I know, tieflings aren't related to dragons, and yet... Well, sorry if I butt in, but what do you know of your hellish heritage? Heritage. I, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I spoke a bit about it with with Valor, and I'm... All tieflings can do different things, right? And I know that I'm, I'm a bit of a sneaky bastard, and that's because I'm a tiefling, but that's about as much as I know. Yes, well, but obviously, when you, when you think of tieflings, there's a variety of tiefling, right? Different skin colors, different horns and you judging by the fact that you look the most human of any tiefling I ever saw and the abilities you describe does the name Glacia ring any bells? Glasrin, you know who Glacia is by the way <laughs> Do I don't, don't we all? Isn't she as <laughs> this is like granddaughter or whatever? Daughter. Um, Daughter? There you go. You have no idea, uh, Brooks. Yeah, no. What the fuck if I know? Well, Lassia is the daughter of Asmodeus. Um, they have a volatile relationship, could we say. Let's say that... Any relationship with Asmodeus would probably be quite volatile. Father and daughter aren't on the best of terms, and Asmodeus and Tiamat also don't happen to have that great of a relationship as he's betrayed her. So, your ties to Tiamat might stem from an alliance made between Glacia and Tiamat. The enemy I... of my enemy is my friend, so to say. Then again. Are they enemies of enemies, though? Yes, they both don't like... They both don't... They both hate Asmodeus. ...like Asmodeus. Oh, okay, I understand. But, that being said... So I... Wait, so I'm roped in on all this shit because my great-great-great-great-great-great-grandmother's got fucking daddy issues. Well, he's roped in... To this, because his great 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 grandfather was tied to the elemental earth, plane of earth. What's the difference? And he does also have daddy issues. I <laughs> not going to judge the like, button on that. <laughs> it seems, yeah, but not now. <laughs> to me, that Brooks, you're already on a path of defying the destiny that your bloodline had laid out for you. Then again, knowing what your part is in the prophecy is cause for some concern. But then again, we've made it this far without betraying these people, it would seem, so... Just be wary that... You might get asked some questions when the summit happens. Who? made the prophecy I don't know all I know is that it's been down here for eons maybe has anyone else ever noticed it change before as we just did or is this the first time anyone's ever well this is the first time change? I lay eyes on it I've, I've heard of it and, and seen interpretations oh. of it but this is the first time I see it in person does it well, still seem way, just as old after it's changed? Yeah. Either way, no pun intended, but it's clear that it's not set in stone. Because yes. it changed before our eyes, so we can't say that what's on here right now is for sure going to happen, because clearly it'll change if we give it cause to change. Prophecies change over time, that is true. There is, you know, no prediction is accurate from beginning to end. But you'll be shocked to find that 
very likely that the vast majority of said prophecy will come to fruition, given that... Sure. We can keep this whole side of it. The That's fine. We see we'll just, here. And puts hand over the dragon. We just, just, just covered this part. Just That's not... Right there. That's the only part we don't need. It's, like, Dyke, does that... I, can I go up and touch the... Can yeah, I yeah, touch you can see through the, my hand. Yeah. My blood. <laughs> I want to go up and touch the, the mural mm -hmm. as well. And as I touch it, I want to think. I can almost believe and will onto it, showing Brooks ki killing Tiamat. Ooh! Before you even get to do that, as you touch it, you... Just suddenly gets transported. Oh no! Oh no! Oh and no! You're kind of like this, 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 Physically? this, this, like, well, no, there's this eye in the okay. sky, and what you see is, you see this, 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 this battlefield, and the dragons and the elemental forces all colliding with each other, similar to the vision you had before. Although this seems to be earlier into said battle, or a different battle before, you know, the override came and nuked everything. This... And suddenly, your vision kind of shifts to a different battle. A battle where you see the dragons roaring through the skies as this summit is happening. The council between elemental lords, and you can see yourselves, your entire group there present. And you know that this is supposed to happen soonish. You can see that this summit is being disrupted by an army of dragons led by Tiamat attacking. And they kind of like snap back to touching reality. Snap back to reality. Oh, there um, goes gravity. <laughs> what you just saw, you just have this feeling that due to the Nightwebs, their actions, and their, their aiding in the... And their, the fact that they have been able to kind of aid the dragons undisruptedly, because, let's face it, as far as Nightwebs go, the majority of what you've done is avoid, avoid, avoid. So they've kind of been able to do their thing. They are ready to attack, and they know of the council between the elements that is supposed to happen, and they plan it. That you feel like this is a warning that they are planning to ambush you while this meeting is happening. Oh, dear. to have you all in the same place and take you out in one go. Mm -hmm. Like this feels very much like a, a warning to you. Like they know, they know that this is going to happen. And they know that we're all going to be there. I will sort of keep my hand on it for just a second. Still with that willing that I had mm -hmm. of trying like, to change it. But I think overall that, like, that image sort of fades. And it's just not panic, but you can say just like... Nelson's breathing gets a little bit faster. Um, and I'll take my hand away. And just sort of look down at the floor. Okay. Um, right. This isn't good. This isn't good at all. I didn't really, didn't really take a genius to figure that out, though, did it? I mean... No, I saw something. I touched that. Oh. Uh, the vision of what's to come. Someone knows about the meeting we're having. They know. And they want to take us out all at once. This meeting can't happen where it is supposed to be happening. But we need to be there. Because we're not who knows what they'll do. What else do they know about the one meeting? What's to stop them from knowing that we changed the location? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. We need to be on our guard, but we can't raise too many alarms. We don't know. Someone is looking in and knows about this. Wouldn't it be better to set traps at the current location? Rodeo will kind of, like, look at you. 
I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, but... You think they know. You must bring this up when we speak to Dunbar. He might have defenses ready for such a case. He just needs to know of it. So please, discuss this when the time comes. Of course. Just... It's weird. It's weird to see a vision of the future and seeing yourself in it. Um, or maybe future, I don't know. Who knows what... Potential future. This is... You now knowing um, already alters that future that you just exactly. saw. Exactly. Right? And who knows what magic's at play here? I don't... Rook's don't being like here and not being whispered into his ears by Tiamat proves that... Nothing is set in stone, as your friends so cleverly, cleverly put. Now that you know what's supposed to be your destiny, perhaps you can change it for the better. And clearly, we're a group that's kind of given the finger to destiny before, or I would have stayed dead. Twice. Me and you Let's both. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll probably be, be dead at least once, so. Right, uh, that's, that's, get some answers. Mm, I will just sort of turn my back from the mirror and continue on the. On the path. Hey, as you, uh, keep trucking. I hate this. Okay, okay. Age. I lost my mind. That was a while ago. Before or after I started having visions of Tiamat. <laughs> visions? Yeah. <laughs> so as you uh, as you keep going, visions. you Emails. end up in this small circular room with a platform in the middle of it, and there is. Mm, Writing on it in a language that, um, what language do you, what well, languages do you guys speak? Just go one by one, uh, Duke. Warvish, Elvish, Halfling, Sylvan. Okay, right. whoops. Uh, fucking Celestial, Common, Deep, Elvish, Undercommon, Primordial. Okay, uh, Dagon? I speak Tabaxi, Common, Thieves Can't, uh, Undercommon, and Loxodon. Jax? Uh, the only one not mentioned that I speak is the Duncan. Okay. But you don't speak Primordial. Brooks? It just Infernal, you know that. I don't. Or else I, I can't, I can't Uh, okay. So, I, I very, very mind. nice that it's only Koiba speaks, or only Elasm speaks this. Because it is written in Primordial. Uh, and it says... Um... Just Brooks. <laughs> Kill him now. Step onto the platform and wait for the earth to swallow you. Oh. <laughs> I will read that out loud. Mm -hmm. And so I'll trace my fingers, solve over it. And I'll step up onto the platform. Okay. And cast Investor Stone. Okay. So, your entire body is now covered in this, this rock-like material. What do you wish to do? I, I will wish to travel down. As you do this, you travel down this long, uh, 100, uh, 150 feet long, just, just drop, essentially. Going straight down, digging straight down. And you land in this large chamber. You you, you land on a, on a similar platform to the one that you, you just uh, sank through, so to say. And you see there this collection of gemstones. But it's... Um, how do I describe this? You can see 
four elemental boards, right? Mm hmm. And there's like this 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 bright red gem, and it sit in a sat in a slot above Kosuth. This bright blue gem above Estisha, uh, a bright white gem above uh, blue. We know him as Blue, not as his real name. Let's be fun. Let's be real. Yeah. Um, but you notice that the gem slot above Rumbar is empty. Does it look like that shard of obsidian I was given would fit into that gap? It does. Ooh. Then I will take that shard and I'll place it into um the i guess the keystone or whatever you know yeah 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 and that, it's an exact fit and as you put it in you can hear it kind of click and the kind of like the the the, the, the space above you you hear just just rocks moving and 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 the kind of the, the ceiling begins to shake but for you guys upstairs that that aren't uh seeing this yeah. this platform that uh you saw a lazarin kind of sink through is now opened up and Elazrin, unless you've like moved away from the platform you're on, the platform begins to rise and it now turns into somewhat of an elevator going up. Back where you came from. What's, what's so above what's like above the platform? Uh where you are? Like the Elazrin's are on. Uh it's now there's this like elevator shaft, I guess. For, for there's a shaft? Of... Like just like a round hole yeah, in the ceiling. Yeah, round hole. Like... Uh Elazrin, what you do see is that like in this room that you were in, um that you are in, there is you know, a, a large door up ahead, but you've now opened up an access way to, to go back up to collect your friends and then come back down. Like you've, oh, you've, I was going to say, uh... do, do I have time to fucking jump onto that platform as it's going <laughs> up? But... Yeah, no, it looks like it can go. So you basically open up a way for the others to yeah. come down to I you and also it's... for you guys to leave again. Yeah, as point. it's starting to go up, I'll probably like actually step off of it okay. so it's yeah. empty for them. And then maybe yeah. they... Hmm. We'll see if it comes back down. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you guys see this this like platform kind of rise up uh, to meet your floor, and without saying anything, Grodir begins to you know walk towards and hops on it and just looks at you all. Okay. You coming? Mhm. Mm yeah, I'll hop on. That's yeah. kind of cool. So. uh... After a few, uh, a little bit of a wait, you are reunited again with uh, Elazrin down there. You now also see this like gemstone, uh, you know, these, this this depiction of the four elemental lords and the gemstones above their heads. Um. Then once you're all there, um, you can see. Hmm. What can you see? Roll perception check, everybody. <laughs> 17. Oh. I, my shadow looks really interesting. 24. <laughs> 24. I keep rolling like natural 18s, natural 19s, but they're all in things that I have a shit bonus to. 22. 21. One. Wait, what, was, what was the lowest? I rolled in that one. So. Rolled in that one. So Jax doesn't see this, but I think everyone else <laughs> uh, sees this. You can see... Yeah. This large stone door and this depiction of, of this larger-than-life earthen elemental being uh, kind of standing, arms crossed. And you can see there's some more text um, uh, kind of like written along the frame of the door above it. Uh, in Primordial again, uh, but Elazar, it's quite large, so you can, you can read it from where you are. And it says, um, to enter the earthen lord's temple... You must first prove durable and strong like the earth you walk over. Oh, I'm screwed. And as you read that... <laughs> Gotta get fucking battered. The ground <laughs> begins to rumble and blocking Combat. the door in front of you, oh this large earthen golem kind of digs his way oh. out of the ground and, and blocks the path. Um, Shall we take a break here and then we'll get into combat? Yes. After break? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah no, it's super exciting. I have a 12-hour session today. <laughs> nah. Yeah, so we're gonna take our take our halfway point break here, uh, gamers, because once we get into combat, this will be like the next hour or so, and taking a break middle of combat sucks. Good call. So we'll take our break here.
and then we'll be back in a few minutes for uh, for some combat, baby. Let me summon you guys to the Tailspire map real quick. Combat will be yes, hella please. Short. You just TPK us, Doc. Because I, I clicked on something in Tailspire, and I'm definitely not where I'm supposed to be. No, no, no. There, this is, this is it's a different, loading. different board, so... Uh, I'll give you guys permission to control your characters and all that once we're... Uh, Yay! Well. Uh, let me just... Yeah, may I control my character? Oh, Grumbar test. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we'll be back in a few minutes, guys. Here we go. Okay.
Oh, I've got to give someone the fucking thing. Oh dear, what a shame. Greetings, dumbass. Hello. I'm gonna wreck on that. Alright, let's, uh... I doubt some it, but... combat music going. Yo, you know how much you want to, like, give me a chance what to get... What if we just have a nice chat with him? You don't know. Yeah, we can talk him down. No. You can just be like, hey, let us in. I, I speak gravel. What you do? <laughs> yeah, I oh, okay. speak gravel. It was that we had to, uh... We had to withstand him, right? What if he's just really bad at small talk? <laughs> sure, man. Yeah, he's uh, just shy, you know? Just in case, though, uh, can I get some initiative rolls? You know, just in case. Oh. Just in I case. suppose. Like, so we yeah. can see who gets to answer his riddle first. I rolled a double digit frickin... initiative. It's very exciting. Answer me these riddle three. <laughs> it's hey, I like great. riddles. Why does also, the clock Duke, I'm jealous. You have me. that little grippy thing so your fingers don't get covered <laughs> in like chip dust and I want some of those. I, I need a set of those so bad. 
Yeah, I want those. <laughs> you could just use regular chopsticks if you have them. I don't actually. Have I feel like I would break the chips too much with regular chopsticks. <clears throat> Initiatives of twenty or more, please. No. Oh, oh, that's real good. Here we fucking nice. go again, boys. <laughs> Fifteen to twenty. Eighteen. Nineteen. Oh, there we go. Perfectly I, respected. I, I hate going. I fucking hate going first in these combats. What's your uh, What's your dex, Quiver? Uh, my dex is uh -oh. seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, that means you get to go before Grodir. Am I about to choke yep. sure. um, the turn um, potion? Ten to fifteen. I, I got, got thir thirteen. 13. Hey, same. Uh, You're definitely faster than me. Though. I definitely have better decks than you, though. <laughs> uh, Davian, what did you roll? Thirteen. Oh, oh look at that! Thirteen. <laughs> uh, what's your decks compared to Daigon's? What's your guys' Mine deck? is seventeen plus three. I think Davian's is better. I think he has a plus four. So. I thought you had Paris a plus four she? for your decks. Mm -hmm. My decks is sixteen. Oh, then mine's better. Okay, no. so uh, you go after Daigon before Jax then. All right. Me and Daigon are the same decks. Brooks, you're up first. What would you like to do? Rock Golem rolled good. I mean, the Golem looks like it intends to fight us, right? Yeah. I read Any you got to prove your strength. I read you got to prove your strength, and then a golem showed up. So I feel yeah. like, <laughs> no, it's, yeah. for all intents and purposes, this How thing needs to be like a like hundred feet. Uh, well, okay. the squares are. Use your ruler, mate. Oh, I'm not thirteen, shit. thirteen tiles, which translates to thirteen times five, so sixty-five feet. Oh, break! Damn, quick mass. Okay, uh, I'll move 45 feet forward. 45 feet forward. Uh, oh, fuck, yeah, I forgot. I can do that. Yeah, I will move by not yeah, moving Yeah, that's why character. we have Tail Spire now, <laughs> so we can do it. That's the whole point. Just stand out here on my own. Okay. Uh, I will bonus action rage. Okay. And then I'm gonna yeet some daggers at this motherfucker. All right. Start playing the game. Uh, and Dutch, what size is this? A large or a huge creature? This creature is considered. I'm uh, oh, uh, It's fucking huge, mate. This should be. This, this is huge, yeah. Okay. So it's huge. Damn. Um, I got a thirteen and a nineteen. Um, 13 and 19. 13 misses, 19 hits. These daggers, are they magical? They are magical, because they're my daggers of returning. Okay. Yeah, so you the 13 misses, the 19 does hit, so what are your damage? Ooh. Uh, let me just double check. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, okay, so that is a 10 points of magic piercing damage. <laughs> <laughs> And points of magic. See? Okay. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. Uh, as you throw your daggers, this one dagger does kind of bury itself in the rocky exterior of this uh, golem, and as it returns to your belt, um, um, you know, there, there's some like sand spillage, but uh, it, it didn't really flinch or anything. Yeah, didn't think it would get bothered that much, but I wasn't going to get into its melee without doing anything, so. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's everything I can do. Alrighty. Lazarin? Um, how long has it been since I've cast Investor of Stone? How long does it last? Ten minutes. Ten minutes? Yeah. Uh yeah, you're about halfway done. You have, you have five, Ooh, minutes five minutes. So it's, it's still it's still oh, the front combat then. That's cool. Yeah. Excellent. Not that I'm gonna fucking use talk through rules, just the uh resistance to the damage is nice. Yeah, no it is. <laughs> if it is done. Uh I'm going to move what, five, 10, 15, 20, 20 by thirty. Mm -hmm. to there. And then I am going to use my action to put the dome out like I did the fucking thing ready. <laughs> This man knows me. Not just uh, like we've had enough combats by now. I know what's coming. It's eight times, yeah, right? Huh? It's 20 feet radius, right? 30 feet. 30 feet radius. Yeah. That's a six. 
six tile radius. It's six tile radius. Yeah, six tiles. Yeah, I'm stupid. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Boom. There you go. Excellent. He was, uh, he was just going to keep going. I'm yeah, I know. Keep going, dude. Hey, you can yeah, like, thing. That's why you say anything. Uh, he's a good person. I will then bonus action spiritual weapon and put it right, right next to it. Right next to it. So that's your huh? Where? I make a Actually, move. fuck you. Uh, I'm gonna give you control of it, so you can move it where okay. the fuck you want. Is it gonna? Is it <laughs> there you go. Well, it's gonna go. Oh, it's gonna go right next to him. <laughs> okay. And we'll swing. Oh, fucking hell, that went miles. Excellent. I don't think. Uh, what the fuck is that? It's holy shit. I don't know. 18. 18. 18. 18. Oh, does it? Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. 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 Uh, for 10 points of force damage. Force damage. Force damage, yeah. Okay. Uh, how many points, sorry? 10. 10 points of force damage. Yeah, so you summon the... Are they still the golden nunchucks? Yeah. That hasn't changed? Okay, yeah. So the, these golden nunchucks appear and just slam it, like kind of like float uh near its uh, near its legs and just like slam it in in its what you can only imagine is its ankle and some of the the rock kind of cracks and fissures and some pieces of rock break off and it just it very faint like very faintly see kind of like the ankle kind of like twitch a bit from the impact um this thing has not made a single sound yet and has just been stood there silently just observing just biding its time mm -hmm. i kind of hate that uh, that will be my turn, and I will get 12 temporary hit points. From the dome. Grodier is now up, and he is going to... Uh, action. Summon its own golem. <laughs> no, he's not that cool. Um... Golem fight! Bum, 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 bum. Had you... Um, I'm going to spend three key points to use his uh, one of his elemental disciplines uh, to use his Gong of the Summit ability to cast Shatter on this golem. His what? That what? Gong, bro. His what? What do you mean? Is uh one of his elemental disciplines, bro? He's um. We have elements. Where the, the four elements, elements, elements wherever it's. Yeah, we have the four elements or whatever. Hell yeah! <clears throat> so he gets to do all kinds of elemental elemental shit. So wait, the elemental guardian is an elemental monk. That's fucking crazy. That's crazy, dude. That's um, crazy. So this golem needs to make a con save, but because it is made from a, a you know made from. Uh, stone. It does have disadvantage on the saving throw. And that would have been a dirty 20, but because of the disadvantage, it's only a 12. And that fails. And it takes 3d8 under damage. Damn. And. 2d8, 3d8. For a total of... Did I just roll three sevens? I sure did. Seven point oh, hey. 21 points of thunder damage. And you can see as as the, the cast goes out, you can see just this, this, this giant rocky torso just begins to crack and pieces of rock begin to kind of just poof, fly off and kind of like shoot off in different directions uh and it for the first time you hear it kind of well what you imagine would be it roaring but all it sounds like is just two pieces of rock kind of grinding on each other with very loudly and then echoes through the chamber that's hot <clears throat> and then for his movement for his movement groder is just going to his 60 feet walking speed 5 10 15 20 21 30 30 He's going to go right here, but he's not going to leave the dome just yet. And he's going to end his turn right there. So 
So how much temp HP does Grodir get, Quibi? Who the fuck did he get any? No, oh, uh... Okay. Well, then, <laughs> guess no. not! Fuck you! No, he gets he gets 12. 12. Alright. Awesome. Is that your new minimum? No, my new minimum is 11. Oh. Uh, so it is now the Rock Golem's turn. Icky! Uh, He's not allowed. And he just lifts one of his legs and stomps oh, no. the ground and Grodir, Brooks, and Elazrin, I need all of you to make dexterity saving throw. Uh-oh. Wait, who okay, is making dexterities? Uh, Elazrin Brooks, and Elazrin Brooks. And, and Grodir. I have two oh. questions. Mm -hmm. Number one, this isn't a spell, right? No. Is it a dex effect that I can see? You can see it the moment that these rock-like protrusions suddenly began began to erupt from the ground up on which you stand. So no, no advantage. Ah, uh, fuck. I tried. Seventeen. Seventeen. Fuck. Natural one, baby. All right. Uh -oh. Um, Lazarus totally save. Nice. Rotor saves. Uh, Brooks, you fail. Uh, so Elazrin, uh, you'll take half damage. So these this 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 elemental stomps the ground, and just for underneath the ground where you're standing, these sharp jagged stalagmites just <laughs> uh, jump up from from the ground from underneath your feet. Uh, you manage to kind of like you know those that made the safe kind of manage to to position yourself in such a way where the damage is minimized, but it does damage all of you. Uh, you take rat row. Or there's another D8. There it is. Uh, 15, 17, 19. So, Brooks takes 19 points of... Uh, I, yeah, piercing damage. Ouch. So, that is half because you're raging. Um, so, Lazarin and Grodir, you each take 9 points. Is this damage. a magical piercing damage? Or just piercing damage? Just piercing damage. Then I will take half of that as well. There you go. All right, because of your because fucking. Because he's a rock man. Rock man. Investor of stone, so from bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage from non-magical attacks. Yeah. So just let me basically just let me know if it's ever magical. Yeah, you know, this is just. How so much? We'll do it. Basically, sharp rock nine, hurts is what this. Nineteen is was the full amount, right? So what? Uh, nine. Uh, nine. So yeah, nineteen. So, four. so nine. So four. Yeah. Damn. Um, and that is its turn for now. I can. I am going to uh, i'm not gonna move too far i want to stay in the dome but mm -hmm. just move a little out of the way um and then reach my hand out and then from my my hand starts to seem to grow bigger and then as a, a spectral paw leaves and shoots towards the golem getting bigger and bigger as it reaches him and cast bigby's hand and i'm Ooh. gonna try and do the um uh, grasping hand to try and like grab him and hold him in place. I don't have like a. I don't really have like a hand to open and do it. Well, it's uh, hopefully it's gonna be holding on to him if I'm successful here. Yeah, so... but I'm just thinking like, do I have a token that I can have you control? Um... We'll see. Now, obviously, he's probably a pretty strong boy, I so. I don't think I um. I rolled a nineteen for the grapple with the hand <clears throat> um let's see i was hoping for better but it's so odd there isn't a hand honestly. Oh, 19 yeah so it's um, his strength against this yeah i rolled a 24 god dang it all right well the hand looks like it's trying to grab him but it can't get a great grip mm -hmm. i guess because of all his like protrusions and he's strong but i'm still gonna hold my arm out there and try and concentrate on it because hopefully yeah. if i can't grab him maybe i'll just hit him with it next time <laughs> yeah well, that's fair <clears throat> and i do not have any bonus actions i would like to do at this time okie dokie your turn yes how much temp hp do i get Team. pardon 16. Okay, I already have 16 Damn. from the last time, so I'm just going to keep that 16. There you go. <laughs> just in case it got better, you know? I mean, 16 is the max you can get. Oh, so. then I'm just oh. going to keep that until I, <laughs> until I so take, take a hit. Which maybe, um, hopefully I won't. Who knows? All right. Davian. Yeah, I got, a, I got a bad feeling about how this is going to go, but can I cast Hold Monster? 
Oh shit. Uh, can you read out to me what the spell does? Choose a creature that you can see within range. The target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or be paralyzed. The spell has no effect on undead. At the end of the, at the end of each of its turns, a target can make a wisdom saving throw. On a success, the spell ends on the target. Yeah. This is. Oh, you cast hold monster, and uh, it now needs to make the saving throw. It's a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom save. Oh, 13, but I doubt this guy. Oh, the wisdom, not plus zero. So 13. Well, he fails, so he's Yay! held. He's paralyzed? And I can just punch him with the yes. hand later. No legendary resistance? No. No, he's paralyzed. Oh my god. Duke's like, I'm not, I'm oh not my used god. to something happening on its own without the legendary resistance. I don't know how this something. feels. Yeah, no, it's, it, it, you can see the, 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 the rock golem kind of just begins to kind of stand still and it does nothing. It's not moving. Just a golem, my dude. <clears throat> yeah, but I'm again never knew this feeling. Yeah, <laughs> yeah true. I so true. same with Morrowind, bro. I feel it. Right. Oh fuck with that true. Oh shit! Brand. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait. Oh no. Oh no. no. I have Don't magic resistance, so I have I have advantage on saving throws against spells. Oh, here we go. Uh, hold, <laughs> hold. So I rolled thirteen. You, you really just did it to this man. And this is a four, so he's still paralyzed. Oh. He's still oh. Paralyzed. oh. <laughs> there was literally a moment where, like, I guess I saw the future where you went natural twenty and you just screamed. Like, <laughs> It just disappears from call. He's no, I would have just said silver bobs. It. Silvery bobs? <laughs> I'm too far away. That's, I literally just looked. I was making that bubble to yeah, see how far yeah, away yeah. I was to see if I was 60 feet. Uh, for Soko, if you want to like have a ruler out, if you click on the ruler and then click on the line next to the bubble, it, it, it becomes a line and not uh, this big ass fucking... Yeah, I also didn't realize that you could see it on stream until I saw it on stream yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. like, ah, oh, <laughs> shit. Well, just, uh, there you go. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, it's, it is par you have paralyzed this uh, rock golem, uh, Davin. Okay. Shit. Fuck up. Nice. Um, and with my bonus action... Mm -hmm. uh, 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 well, everyone is now figuring out how the, the ruler tool works. <laughs> I was just checking. <laughs> no, you're good, man. Wait, you're good, you're good. <laughs> wait, can we, can we roll dice in this one as well? For Fuck, off. <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck <laughs> off. I'm gonna I'm gonna run. I'm gonna move up. Oh, I can I I do that. You do that. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have thirty-five feet of movement. So. Yeah. And uh, oh 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 Onu. <laughs> Wait, is Onu tiny? Is he supposed to be bigger? Uh. He's just a little baby. So. He's a little boy. It's definitely not like a six foot tall squirt. He's not a tiny creature, right? He's he's the normal size, like medium. Yeah, medium he's medium. Size. Yeah. Medium. I lost count. I'm just gonna go here and. Okay. Well, you're at th for your character it was 35, so. Yeah, so that's what 40. That's how much more Onu gets. Yeah. He gets 60, so I'll just. Yeah. And that's my turn. What do I team? Stamping 11, it. 10 HP. 11, 10 HP. Jax. 11? Yeah. That's pretty shit, man. It's pretty shit. Well, since yeah. paralyzed, so I should probably capitalize on that. Yeah. How does this go again? 64. Man's really had dominate monster. What the hell? I know. I didn't know he had that either. Yeah. Well, he has his hold monster, not dominate. Oh, True. sorry. Hold monster. Sorry. Um. Lacking, he's lacking feet. the BDSM outfit. That guy's <laughs> dominate monster. That's one of the um, opponents you need. I'm gonna go. Shit. No, he's, he's, this oh. is just his first dipping his foot in. He's learning to hold and then he'll learn to dominate. Yeah, I'm gonna use Misty Step to go another. Th yep. Yeah. Right there. Mm hmm. And then I'm gonna hit him with my gauntlets. I think because of I believe I rolled with advantage. Uh, paralyzed in five E means. For sure, it's advantage. Then crit following. if I hit. Uh, incapacitated automatically feel strength and dex saves. Attack rolls of advantage. Any attack that hits is a crit. Yeah. So, if the attacker is within five feet, so any melee attack that hits is a crit. Yeah. I guess, or if um, you want to cast a spell, 
from melee range or like a throw a dagger from melee range, or whatever. And mm -hmm. but so yeah, if you hit, it's advantage. It's a uh, crit. Uh, that's a eighteen to hit. First one hits. All right. Uh, that's five. So twenty points of thunder damage to the first attack. That's already doubled. Oh, that's already like yeah. yeah, eight plus seven plus five. That's thunder damage. That makes a difference. Uh, no, it does not. But as Sad. you deal this damage to him, uh, you do feel the ground begins to shake and quake underneath your feet. As oh, reaction on the eastern end of the chamber, another one. Oh no! Another golem unearths itself. Yep. Oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So that one coming. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> Maybe oh, this golem great. also just wants to be held. I'm going to want to for this guy real quick. Oh, oh yeah. Hold monster. Yeah, you're good. It's uh, just you got to give me a little hug. Like, what did you roll for, for initiative again, uh, Laszlo? Bitch, you think I remember? It was, <laughs> it was an 18, 18 I think. He was, no, he was 18. Was it 18? Oh, yeah, sorry. He was yeah. 18. Alright. Another one's got it written down. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Jax. Uh, what, what else are you doing? Sorry. Uh, you there's just, a 19 to hit. You triggered the like HP value. On which oh, sick. Yeah, happens. I love that. Uh, 19 to hit hits. Yes, sir. Wait. It's... Credit wouldn't even matter, would it, technically? Because you can't like double or triple no, credit. No, like, as long as you hit your crit, right? So it doesn't really matter if you roll a 20 yeah. or not. My god. Oh, uh, that's 19 thunder damage. 19 thunder damage. You begin, like, seriously chipping away at this guy, like, to the point where, like, these these large pieces of rock kind of begin to fall off. Um, you know, it's not looking too hot right now. You like that. Um, it doesn't save when it takes damage, does it? Dude. No, it's at the end of its turn. Damage doesn't break. No, it's, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's I was, during I wasn't sure. Yeah. Alrighty. Um, that, that, that's my turn. That's your turn. All right, Brooks. I mean, I know. Do you? I, well, it looked I like you were talking for a minute. Fuck it, I'll <laughs> go over here and I'll fight the other one. Okay. <clears throat> I'll um, give a fuck, I'll punch the shit out of this one. <laughs> yeah, I I got no conductors on, I'll punch the fuck oh, out. Oh, I got fucking dusters. Imagine being like, this is when Dean gets in the room, like, oh, there's a big rock ball to start. I'm gonna go, I'll punch it. And <laughs> it's like, makes so much sense. <laughs> With my I magical my dusters. Knuckle dusters. Yeah. And I'm descended from Satan. <laughs> made from I'm, Gorgon I'm, metal. I'm gonna punch a wall. <laughs> Just like... Uh. Those are, you made those from like the metal that you got from the fucking Gorgons, right? They're metal not made balls? from Dwarven metals. No, Gorgon. They're Gorgon. Made. They're like metal Gorgon. balls. Yeah. yeah. Gorgon. Well, I didn't make them, but... Well, yeah. Well, I'm oh, sorry. Me and Jax made them. Alright. Jax and I. I'm gonna hit this motherfucker. The tank boys. Uh, so, b -b 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 a 24 and a 26. Both hit? Cool. <clears throat> right, so that's 21 points of magic bludgeoning damage total. Alright. Fuck this guy. And I'm not looking so hot on the key points, lads. <laughs> hey, <yo. clears throat> so I'm just gonna I'm gonna break my elbow on this thing and just make one unarmed strike as a bonus action. Okay. My elbow. I got that funny That's bone here. Literally like a, a bonus like your bonus action or your flurry of blows aren't with your weapons. Yeah. So I'm I'm just kicking or like elbowing this thing, so I'm going to break my arm, but it's okay. You're Punching right. rocks. So, hey yeah. man, if Chris Redfield can do it. 24. <laughs> 24 hits. Your unarmed strikes are also magical now, right? Because you love Yeah, it. because I'm a cool as, as fuck monk. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's uh, 10 points of bludgeoning damage. 10 points of bludgeoning damage. Very nice. All right. Yeah, this thing is, is like, they look identical. As far well, as, uh, um, you know, their, their, their rocky exterior. And they also have that same, like, it took the punches, it hurt, and just pieces of rock kind of fell off, but it didn't really overly react in a way. It didn't really flinch or anything. It's 
dead inside. Mood. Later? turn? Okay. Yeah. Can't do much else other than cry. Yeah. I doubt you... they're going to throw anything at me. Temp HP going on? Oh, yeah. Uh, fucking 12. 11. Oh, 12. Thanks, Laszlo. Bob's and it is now your turn, Lazarin. It is. Uh, I will both action attack with my spiritual weapon mm -hmm. on that one there. So that's with a that one's still advantage, right? Because it's oh yeah, it's still paralyzed. Paralyzed. Excellent. It's twenty six to hit. Yes, for this auto crits. Big crits. So max damage plus a roll. Ah, oh, excellent. Or the one on the dice, baby. Okay. <laughs> so that's why we do crits 14, the way we yeah. do. Yeah. So it's 14 points of damage. 14. Yeah. As the, the the spiritual weapon slams into this thing, it is looking like the entire rocky exterior is cracking and there's kind of this like sand mud-like uh, uh, substance leaking from the seams. Uh, the ground begins to shake again. As a third rock golem unearths itself and joins the fray. Uh, hold on. I think this is Jax. What was your deck? Uh, your initiative again? It was it was plus ten, right? Thirteen. Yeah, there you go. Boom. So a third one has now also dug his way up. We love that. I will then. Uh, cast Guiding Bolt on the newest one that's just come out. Okay. What are you talking? That's a 21 to hit. Yes, sir. Uh, bum, bum, bum. That's awful. Um, yeah, for 13 points of damage. 13 points of damage, all right. And the next attack made against this guy will have advantage because he emits yep. a purplish glow, we'll say, you know, in, in tune yep. with your... Uh, and that'll class. be my turn, and my temp HP is now 15. Okay. Nice. Uh, this second rock golem that just joined the fray is going to... Leave. Uh, Rumble. Um, it's gonna move. What we're ready? Right here. <laughs> oh, no. oh, the the shake in fucking tails <laughs> fire. Yeah. Yeah. Right? That yeah. just makes it real scary. Uh, Ooh, so that it now lovely. has one, two, three people within ten feet of it. Um, no, it doesn't. I'm not there. Uh, so Brooks, Davian, and Lazarin. I need you to make wisdom saving throws. Oh, wisdom. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Um, Pourquoi? I definitely don't like that. Uh, because he is beginning to mold the earth underneath uh. your feet in an attempt oh. to slow you. I don't oh, like he's making yeah. quicksand. This isn't a spell, is it? No. It's an ability or some shit. Wisdom? I rolled like, an 8, so... Are we wise enough to avoid moldy feet? I rolled an 11, so 21. Okay. I rolled a 17, so 19. Uh, 19? 20-something. And what did you roll, Davian? 8. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh, Davian is the only one that fails. Oh. You are currently slowed, so you can't use reactions. Your speed is halved. You cannot make more than one attack on a turn. Uh, in addition, you can either take an action or a bonus action on a turn, not both. But you can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of your turns to try and break free from it. You are slowed. And that is its turn. Um, Grodier is going to move up to this guy. Take out his two uh, long swords, if I remember correctly. Yeah, no, three, two short swords. Sorry, he doesn't have feet. Uh, uh, it's two short swords, and he begins to fucking twat at this guy. The first one is with advantage because of the guiding bolt. 
that's an 18 plus 10, uh, 28 to hit. Second one is cacked. Second one is a 16 to hit, with which just misses. Uh, but it takes 11 points of magical slashing damage. It's no longer emitting this uh, bright, glowy light. And for his bonus action, he is going to just... Uh, I don't think this guy gets the whole... The the unarmed strikes being magical is is your subclass specific, right? Keep him? Uh, no, I believe it's a monk no, thing. it's all monk things based on level. Yeah, it's the punch ghost features. Features. Yeah. <laughs> it is uh, six level key empowered strikes. Um, so if oh, he's yeah, a key, key empowered strikes. monk or higher... Yeah, he's a temple of the monk. Um... Uh, yeah, okay. So yeah, then he's gonna make a, a, you know, bonus action unarmed strike. And miss anyway, so who gives a fuck? All uh, of that for him to miss? Yeah, man. I Does Glowdeer get any, well. uh, temp HP? Oh yeah, of course. Uh, 15. You only had 3, so... Hmm. That is his turn. Oh, sorry. Um, this rock take. golem gets no turn except a chance to break free from the uh, paralysis. Don't which was do it! A wisdom save, right, Duke? Yeah. Don't do it. That's a fucking natural five, Shawl. No. no. Megan. All right. Um, I'm going to just scoot back here because now I'm scared. Uh, and then <laughs> I am going to try and. So since grappling it didn't work, but then um, Davian has now so kindly uh, paralyzed anyway. Instead of trying to grab it and hold it still, the hand's now just going to go and try and smash okay. with the big bee's hand. Uh, the uh, modifier for that. Um, oh, I have to use my statistics. Wham. Well, okay, that's lame. I get advantage, though, because it's paralyzed. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and it, it's big bee's hand attacking, right? Yes. So it's melee, so it's also a crit when yeah. it... Hits. Yeah, yeah, but I have to use my stats, which is dumb. Really? It says no, for the clenched big... fist, the hand strikes one creature or object, make a melee spell attack for the hand using your game statistics. Melee spell attack. Uh, so is it oh, so use my spell thing. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're not using your strength for it. That's what I thought. I was like, oh no. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Oh, I finally rolled good on both the dice. So that's a 27 to hit. Let's go. Yeah, I think that hits because I heard it said 24 hit earlier, so surely. Um, if it doesn't hit, I quit. I rolled real poorly on most of the dice, unfortunately. So that's 7, 11, 13, 14 points of force damage as the hand just, like, becomes a fist mm -hmm. and just bop and bops him on the head. Ach. Sorry, I was quickly uh, looking <laughs> into the, like, intricacies of the Twilight Domain. He was yeah, yeah. the white group is getting booted off. Yeah. 14 mm -hmm. points of force damage as the hand comes down and tries to like psh, and just As the it. hand is it coming like from like up top just From poof. above as a fist and just yeah play. As it does the hand just sinks into this uh, golem's body and it just crumbles until nothing but yeah. a pile of rock uh, remains and This one has been killed There's two left One down we rocked his One way. down, 17 to go. Yeah. Um, And just let me check. Moving. Oh. As a bonus action, you can move the hand and then cause one of the following effects. Oh, but it's and then cause. So the hand can't move now because I did the effect already. Okay. Ow. So that. Whatever. The hand's just left, like, hovering where that guy was for now. Oh. Nice. And I still have my action, because it says that's a bonus action. Yeah. Which means I will also do my invoke smite and send some of my ghostly energy over to Brooks's knuckles. Okay. I'm done. That's my turn. Alrighty. I mean, you, you've not taken damage, have you? Like, I have not taken damage, so I'm going to keep I my 16. Like, yeah, I'm not going to bother on. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Davian. 
I mean, I've taken damage, just not this fight. I'm I'm just gonna <laughs> attack the one closest to me with my Frostbrand Scimitar, but I am gonna mark it first. Uh, you have you have to choose either action or bonus action because you're slowed. Okay, well, I'll just. Oh yeah. I, can I still attack twice? No, only one attack per turn. Lame. It's up. Yeah, it's slow do be insane. Yeah. Uh, okay. I rolled a an eighteen to hit. It's woohoo. Okay. One D. Your expedition is fucking rough. Wait, my stupid. Oh no, the frost friend. This. Yeah, okay. I was like, can't I two hand this to do more damage? But that was the sort of the sun sword or whatever. <laughs> uh, we should have stole it. Oh, nine points of slashing damage and then five points of cold damage. Twice. Cold damage, you know, does the snow bother him? It does. Um, Rocks yes. don't like to be cold. Yeah, so, okay. <laughs> So you you slash at this golem, Remember to bring your rocks inside, leaving guys. a bit of like <laughs> icy, <laughs> bit of an icy like trail, kind of like and it's uh, the, the the blade kind of leaves this icy trail in his wake. Um, if this is your turn, you get to roll a wisdom save to see if you can break free from slow. I want to. You can break do it. Free. <laughs> oh, okay. Hold on. Mm-hmm. It's a 14, but that. At? Okay. This is, this is a saving throw, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, okay. It's a 14. 14, unfortunately, you are still. Oh, slow. no! <clears throat> you have 12 temp HP, though, so that's something. No. I have oh, some. No. One more than I hit. Did have, yeah, exactly. So. See? Um, Yax. Yax mm. will... What will I do, actually? I don't know. Uh... I think I just go hit him. Boing, boing, boing. And then I, I hit. Yeah, Hopefully. go for it. Ah, that one is a 25. Mm -hmm. And the second one is an 18. Both hit. Let's see. Four. Mm -hmm. Damn, my dice are rolled good today for the damage. 22 points of thunder damage. 22 points of thunder damage. Alrighty. Anything else? This is my turn. That is your turn. Oh. Uh, fucking 16. That's 16 a lot more than my three. God damn. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, this rock golem. Oh no. <laughs> I, I called for like his trap that, card, but... dude. Uh, it's I nine. Fell his tra Wait, five. A 45 foot golem. He'll hit his buddy. Yeah. Nine is 45, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. So that means. Bye, guys. Oh, what's the. Oh, dude, what the fuck? Huh? What's like the default angle? I will look it up for you right now. Okay, it's. So, isn't it? It goes one and then three and then five? Is that not. The, the default, default angle of a cone is 53.13 degrees, oh, supposedly. God. What the yeah, fuck? it's. Yeah. Like this? Yeah, so it goes. One, it's like 50, three, yeah, so like five, three, five, five, it's closer yeah. to 53 than 54 technically. It's it's because it's supposed to be like nine tiles length by nine tiles width. Right, right, yeah. okay, okay, okay. So this. So that means Brooks, Jax, Davian, uh Grodier, and I think yeah, no, Elasner is just out of it then. Uh oh. so Brooks, Jax, Davian make deck saves, please. Which Not let me see saves? if slow. It probably does give me disadvantage. Probably. Um, um, I know he's going to say no, but I feel obligated to ask. You've already asked the same exact thing. Should walk, yeah, right? yeah, it's the same thing, dude. Same thing. Uh, target can't be your speed is halved. I don't know. It doesn't that. say anything about deck saves, bro. I think it, yeah, you can make deck saves normal. Nice. Oh. 
it I actually looked really good. The same thing. But it is. Okay, well that's <laughs> fine. Uh, I got a seventeen. I got 17? a natural twenty. Natural twenty, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, uh, I mean it's basically what I have to do to make any saves. I got a natural Next. nine. I got a seventeen. Seventeen. Okay, everyone passes except for Grodir, so y'all take half damage. Oof. As again, these he, it stomps its foot on the floor, and these jagged rock uh, stalagmites just poof, burst out of the ground before sinking down again. Um, so, uh, 21. Grodir takes 21 points of damage. You guys take 10. Brooks, 5, because he's raging. Hey, dude. Get fucked, Grodir, idiot. <laughs> MPHP coming in clutch. Wait, but if he dies, we're stuck down here, though. <clears throat> no, he got last no, He's got blood clear. armor. Uh, and that is its turn. Brooks. He's got blood armor. Uh, in this one combat I mean, for once, I'm the one with plot armor instead of the fucking. I'll end that. I'll end that plot armor right now. Right. <laughs> Why would you think I wanted the drow poison? You uh, plane shift me. Oh <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, plane of water. I'm just gonna start wailing on this guy because there's no point not doing. Yeah. Well, fair enough. Because Go for it. if I run away from him, he's gonna beat the shit out of me anyway. I'm gonna slam the fuck out of his. He does have disadvantage because I hit him technically, so. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> Good chance it. Well, I'm still not gonna risk it. But I am gonna be a bitch and move to get flanking if I can. So at least try. I'd need to be like. I'd need to Nobody tell Vincent. Right? I'm gonna sure. say that due to the nature of these creatures, flanking doesn't really. Oh, bitch. Oh my god. Okay, well then I will stay Vincent, here and I'll punch Vincent. this motherfucker. No, away with you. Look at that badonka donk, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Laura said these guys are thick yeah, and uh, low key, I know. Bro. Yeah, but... <laughs> the dude was ah. now, now it's just in our face, whereas Laura was <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. You Laura know what I'm saying? Damn. Looking for that ass. These guys got. Uh, a better dumpy than Koiba, I reckon. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know, I don't know though. They one. got paint smeared on it. That's the question. Yeah, is there paint on that? I, I got a 15 and a fucking dirty 20. 15 misses, 20 hits. Fuck. Uh, that is 9 points of magic bludgeoning damage. Uh, Alrighty. And bonus action, I'm gonna... I'm gonna stamp on his toe. Wait, wait, do you hit, you hit it with oh, your knuckles? Oh, I, I get extra damage, yeah. You get the, the smart damage. Then it damage. does an extra seven points of radiant damage. Okay. Oh, oh boom. Uh, and then I, I miss stamping on his toe with another 15. It doesn't need miss, excuse me. I'm rolling like shit. Oh. Is that uh, your turn? Yeah, that's my turn. Any turn. Any turn, uh, boy. 14. Any temp? I was, nearly, I was nearly out of temp <laughs> HP. Uh, you just saves on that boost. Laszlo, look, I'm Hello. under 100 health, Koiba. I need temp HP. Fucking this. this Imagine guy. losing any HP, dude. Crazy. Okay, right. Hello. Uh, fucking. A bonus action move this for oh, fucking five, ten, to there because it can only be 20 feet. So it's still not close enough <laughs> to do anything. Grr. Fucking piece of shit. <laughs> uh, and then. I think I'm just gonna use Guiding Bolt again on that same one. Okay. Yeah, man, it worked once, it worked You'll have this advantage here because you're in melee with uh, the other guy. Oh, yeah. That sucks. That yeah, that, that do be a thing. That is, that is a so... rule. <laughs> Hmm, maybe I don't do that then. That's sucky. Ah, oh, I just fucking said. No, you what? Fuck it. I'll you take it. I'll take spells. that. Okay. I have no. I don't. I have no melee spells, dude. I personally didn't take any. This character isn't designed to be in melee range. Why would I take melee range spells? <laughs> Why is he there? <laughs> Why <did> he <laughs> yeah, roll your attack with uh, disadvantage. Disadvantage. Oh, it's fine because it's me rolling disadvantage, so it's the same shitty number, anyways. Okay. <laughs> uh, but it does still make it a uh, sixteen. Sixteen just misses, man. 
<laughs> rolled an eight and a seven, dude. So, so you just begin to like hurl this guiding bolt at this thing, but kind of bump into this large rock golem right beside you, which kind it's of like the, fucks the angle like up. That. I'm like, ow, fucking shit. And this, shit. this guiding bolt just, just barely passes this other rock golem and just slams into the wall. And there's just this like one section of this rock wall that now has this, this faint purple like U to it. Cool. If anyone were to uh, roll to attack that specific the piece wall. of wall, you'll have advantage. Oh, hell yeah, again. <laughs> That's with the go the walls of the golem. Get, get the walls. <laughs> uh, the golems like are in the walls. Uh, I don't okay, change my temp HP. So. Okay. It's now this rock golem's turn, and Ooh. you can see that this thing is has taken a lot of damage. Pieces of rock are, are breaking off. There's like deep fissures going all over its body, and it begins to kneel down and kind of hold himself, and it begins to shake and vibrate. The point where the entire oh Graveler floor... cast self destruct. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Graveler cast self destruct, and I need uh. everybody, everybody, uh, four tiles. So I need Lazarin, Davian, Jax, and Brooks to make a Constitution saving throw. Thank God it's Constitution. I'm staying out of it. <laughs> so you know when you said he cast. I failed. Throw? I failed. I definitely. Passed. Well, it's not. I said cast because he said cast. I know. Cast I'm strength, being a okay? shitbag. I know it's not a spell. I know I don't. I'll be their shitbag. Yeah. Let me look. Mm -hmm. it's oh, so, yeah. so probably it, used I've, self destruct, which would be the verbiage for Pokemon. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I've got a cloak that gives me advantage against spells. And he never targets me with spells. Oh, you got Hogwarts. You got to cast spells. spells. And when he does He's target me with spells. <laughs> I get charmed and I kill everyone else. So oh, fucking welcome to my world. That's your world. <laughs> uh, Lazo, uh, what did you roll? Uh, fucking 17. 17, you think, 1. You think we're playing D&D in a daycare? The amount of crying babies there on this fucking <laughs> All right. That's Mister, the, oh, that's I the, finally that, got That's the last five years, bro. Uh, Brooks, you rolled a 1. Oh. Uh, what did you roll, Jax? Uh, I rolled a 22. 22. Davian? Uh, What? What did you roll for your fail? Like, oh, natural three. Just okay. fucking kill me. <laughs> oh, the quay baby. Um, all right. All right. Uh, so those that right, fail to save take full damage. The rest takes half. So anyone that rolled. Oh no way. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. Quite That's not to fucking add no extra dice to this. <laughs> anyone uh, that rolled under a under a sixteen fails. Anyone whose name begins with D takes an extra 12 damage. Uh, six. Oh, his name begins with an M. Oh so. my god, Dethan? 21, oh my god. 26. Davian, 29. 32. So 32 points of damage for those that failed. Uh, 16 points of damage to those that what made the same. What damage is it? Oh, Force. No, oh. Force? Yes. Oh, <laughs> Are you sure it's not fire or thunder? I am so pretty you know sure. How I'm a, you know how I'm a bear tone? I'm gonna half that, please. Okay. Cool. Uh, uh, I passed my concentration check with a 17. Very good. Uh, but you know, in in the process, obviously, this thing fucking self destructs and blows um. up. You all take your damage from just the sheer impact from being so close to it, but then this thing just like crumbles to bits afterwards. And that is its turn. Uh, and now it's Grodir's turn. And he's going to just whack at this other guy twice. A 13 to hit. And that's uh, 26 to hit. So the second one hits. Dude, these Roman numerals on these on this particular set, man. I, it, it fucks me up every time. It's a little tough. <laughs> it's a little tough. Is, is this the gray set? It's the one that you bought me, uh, Ethan, with a fucking... Why yeah, are you using the one that we all bought you? They're in the pile. They're being used. They're in the Got house. too many dice, dog. <laughs> uh, this thing takes eight points Wog. of slashing Wog. damage. Uh, and he's going to... His bonus action to do... Oh, God. Yeah, he's going to use his last key points to use Bloody of Blue. 
Sick. That one HP making me real nervous. It's fine. So like, Davian. Oh shit. Um... <laughs> I had 31 health and two temporary HP. <laughs> you yeah. Need 32 damage. Uh, first one is a 20 something to hit, so that hits. Second one misses, so that is another uh, nine points of bludgeoning damage. It's fine. These guys aren't all gonna like fucking megazord into one giant golem now, guys. Dragon. <laughs> all the pieces come together. You're up. Me. Yeah. Uh, okay. Man. Um, I will. For my action, do uh, my sympathetic mending and send some healing towards Davian. Okay. So, Davian, you get um, 14 hit points. And then uh, for my bonus action, we'll make the hand go try and pummel slash crush this dude. Okay. And I don't have advantage for any reason on this attack with the hand, right? It's a straight roll? Uh, 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 yeah. It would be a straight roll. N nope. What's that's a roll? that's a 16. That just misses. Yep. Oh well. <laughs> I tried. The hand's right. over there chilling with him now. I did some healing. I did something. Yeah. Uh, Davian, you are no longer slowed because the creature that slowed you has perished. Yeah, Yay. fuck that guy. So you, uh, you, know, you have <laughs> everything available to you again. If my memory serves me correctly, um, well. like Neil. <laughs> oh, right. It, it did um, sound like a fucking. <laughs> it sounded like yeah. something Ling would say. <laughs> yes. Uh, if I use an action to drink a potion, I get the full effect. Yes. Yeah. Bonus action is where you have to roll for it. Yeah. So a little yeah. homebrew rule will be implemented. Yeah. That's pretty sick. Okay. Because in, in so my head, I forgot, I forgot we did that. I'll be yeah. honest. It hasn't really the logic come up is very if you often, take so. your full if you take your full action, you're like being careful to drink the whole contents of the vial. If you're bonus action, you're doing like the quick like, chug and eat the vial while yeah, doing exactly. something so, else. And you so can you do both? I'm going to. Yeah. Just use I mean, if you want to. Yeah. I'm going to use an action to drink a potion of grace of healing for twenty points of healing. Mm hmm. And I'm then going to use my bonus action to cast Healing Spirit. Okay. Uh, to call forth a nature spirit to soothe the wounded. Uh, the intangible Ooh. spirit appears in a space that is a five foot cube you can see within range. The wounded being. Until the you. spell ends, whenever you or a creature can see moves into the spirit space for the first time on a turn or starts a turn that you can cause the spirit to restore 1d6 hit points to that creature, no action required. It can't Ooh. heal constructs or undead. It can heal a number of times equal to one plus my spellcasting ability modifier. After healing that number of times, the spirit appears. As a bonus action, you can move it. But uh, I think on the turn that I sick. summon it, it won't heal me. I I've I given you control of this little, this little fae spirit. Uh... <laughs> um... So it's a five foot cube. Yeah, so it has to be like basically no. Next to it. Can it's it just be space. on me then? Because yeah, sure. I have to be in its space. Yeah, yeah. I'll, uh, go. It's kind of, it's kind of like hovers oh, above wait, you. Wait, okay, wait, wait, kind of wait. Whenever a creature you can see moves into the spirit space for the first time, does this count as me moving into the spirit space for the first time? Yeah, if you summon it, like, it. say, let it, like, oh, it lands on your shoulder, then yes, you would okay. be inter entering okay. its space. Then I will, time. I will heal 1d6 hit points right now. Yeah. Is it plus your spellcaster modifier too? I think it's just a flat uh, six. No. Oh, okay. But I did roll a five. There you go. So. Nice. Very good. Yeah. Um, and that's my turn. A little bit of, little bit of self -care. temp HP. And 13 temp HP. Dude, I just went from whack to jacked. Real quick. <laughs> from, golf, from golf to boss. All right. Uh, Jax. Well, I was going to heal Davian, but uh, he's got that covered. He's, he, so. he got that covered. Yeah, he's good. So I won't he's worry set. about that, I guess. Uh, I'm sure I keep doing my thing, I guess. Hang out with my main man, Grodier, here. The boy. Uh, and just try and hit this boy. Yeah, go for it. Uh, ooh, that's only a 15. That misses, unfortunately, sir. Oh. I don't like to use my language against me. What, English? 
Uh, just the accent. Oh. He doesn't speak English. He speaks American. True. Yeah. Me too, yeah, honestly. Yeah. That's, the Amer that's the American accent, obviously. Yeah, every American oh, like one sounds 26. like that. 26. 26? That'll hit. <laughs> they do in my country. Uh, ooh. Uh, for 12 points of thunder damage. 12. 12 points. 12 points. 12 points. So Wait. shout out to and the uh, twelve points go to. <laughs> yeah. uh, right. Only twelve. Anything else? Man, you're falling off, bro. Uh, you can give me. You can give me. Oh, Sixteen's the max. What do you mean? For song festival, no. Like, like every country can no. award a max of twelve points to another country. Oh, I thought he was talking about temp HP. I no, was like, you were how is that max, Eurovision dog? Song Festival, bro. Dude's no, bro, your I temp HP. I don't know shit about Eurovision, <laughs> dog. <laughs> your temp HP is 15, my brother. Ooh. All right. Gaspoir. Gaspoir. Yeah, I don't have any bonus actions, so. Right. So, yeah, 15 for you. Great. Then it is the Rock Golem's turn. I don't know if he's going to fucking blow himself up. Go on. <laughs> uh, no, he's not weak enough for that yet. Um. Ew. Ew. Dude, with Ew. a bit of imagination, that sounds like you remember those fucking those little pipes. You're like, really? Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when the DM's in on the chaos, you know that it's fucked. This <laughs> golem is going to look at the two people in front of it and cry. And he's going to make two slam attacks: one against Jax and one against Grodier. It has disadvantage against Grodier. Okay. Okay. Even with, I rolled two 11s with his advantage, so uh, that is still okay, well, 21 to hit, so Grodier I gets, tried, You did, dog. you did. Um, so Grodier takes only 10 points of blood, magical bludgeoning damage. <clears throat> Boom. Uh, and Jax, just a normal roll for you? Yeah. 24 to hit. That's my AC. Mates equals beats, baby. Um, you take five. Please make that a character. You take sixteen Mind points of magical bludgeoning damage. Sorry, how much? Sixteen. So your temp HP minus one. <laughs> I'm actually losing HP. That's so we gross, took one man. point of damage. Pretty much, yeah. No, uh, I've, I've taken eleven. Yeah, but this this attack. Oh, right, yeah, this 15, 10 for yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so the next time and that is its turn. About getting targeted. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I'm gonna go hit the boy. One. Four, five, <laughs> six. Talking about me. He's just gonna beat my ass. <laughs> no, fuck it. I'll go. I'll go this way. Uh, 45's there. I'll go this way so I can stay in the dome because I'm being smart. Man. That's first. Yeah, I know. He's learning. Character development, if you will. I think he's just out of grenades, honestly. Yeah, that is half the problem. <clears throat> I have no grenades. I wonder if has black powder in the group. Yeah. I mean, I did have a, a blanket, but I think Jax has got that. No, I think we used it on something. I think he used it. Memory uh, right. I don't. I don't think I have one in my inventory. <laughs> I got a 27 and a 12. 27 hits, 12 misses. I should just give up, honestly. I think it's gone uh, with like nine dream points of bludgeoning damage. Nine points? Okay. And I'll hit him again as a bonus action. Mm hmm. 24. 24 hits. For seven points of bludgeoning damage, I am consistently rolling ones and twos on this D6. Let's go. Oh, right. Brooks on the ones and twos. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> All right. Anything else, Brooks? Uh, yeah, I want some temp HP. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, 15. No, he can no. choose, and he's chosen not to. The funny no, thing is, like, he literally could say no. Yeah, I mean, it would make sense. I am on the enemy team. True. True. Actually, good point. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna hit a flame strike on Brook. No, I can just fucking take him out. Uh, no, you can't do that because that hits me and Brood here too. No, nah, there's an angle. Uh, no, I will just continue doing what I have been this entire combat, mm -hmm. and I will cast uh fucking uh. Why well, can't I think of what's a guy bolt? 
Go for it. Um, uh, that's a 21. Yes. To hit. That hit. And that hit. That hit. That uh, is uh, 14 points of damage. Nice. Damage. Back against it has advantage. Yes, sir. Alrighty. So it's starting uh, to look pretty fucked up, dude. And I get 12 temp <clears> HP. <throat> I mean, it always did. It's just now it's hurt. Okay, oh. yeah, fair. What the uh, hell does it mean? Grodir is just gonna whack it twice with its sword. The first one with advantage because of the guiding bolt, making it a natural 20. Hell yeah. Uh, second one is 17, which just hits. So, uh, 12, 14, 18, 6, 24 points of damage total. Um, yeah, Grodir just sticks its sword directly in one of the fissures that have kind of appeared on this creature and as the sword sticks in it he just turns the sword and the entire golem just begins to crumble and, and collapses mm. and that is the final golem dealt with <laughs> and as the final golem falls the ground begins to shake the large stone doors the opposite end slowly swing open and a voice booms through oh. the, um, the the chamber. All of you, like, it hurts. It hurts. And it's in a language that none of you understand except for Elazarin. It just says, enter, in Primordial. But it it hurts. Because there's the I'm grating, deafening loudness, deafening blows of this voice. But yeah. That is. Been given oh boy! Permission to enter. Does it still sound like that? Like, sound like two rocks being like scraped together. Yeah. Cool. Unsound. Very guttural. Very uh, like a, like guttural groans combined with just land. Sh the sounds you would imagine an earthquake making. The sounds that the. I need to see what they're called now. The stone giants in Warcraft make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is that what they're called? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. mountain giant. Yeah. Walk towards the door. Need some appropriate music for this. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. Rock music. No, wait, not like that. So, as you. <laughs> uh, do you all follow Elazarin? As Elazarin's kind of walking with purpose? Absolutely. Sure. This man's not going anywhere. Oh, you're keeping your um, fucking friends close, enemies closer. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep him within dagger range. Yeah. Alright, so the door opens. And as you all enter this, this this smaller circular room, you can see an altar with obsidian decorations and the walls around you also layered with obsidian. Uh, beside um besides the altar what you see is an old looking artifact sitting on top of it, also made from obsidian, but covered with a layer of red crystal, kind of resembling veins slowly pulsating with Ruidium. red light. <laughs> um, you gather this is probably the heart of the land, and you now kind of understand why it's called that way, because it does kind of resemble a heart in that sense, kind of this pulsating... These pulsating red veins covering this this circular uh, obsidian chunk. Um, as you all enter the room, the ground begins to shift, and the room suddenly expands in size. And before you, what you see is a giant earthen throne, and on top of it sits. A giant elemental looking humanoid, rocks uh, and ground protruding from its body, decorated with gems. Um, Grodir immediately drops to his knees. 
in reverence. Uh, and his body suddenly begins to float. And then he, he flies towards the elemental and then turns to face the group. And you can see his eyes where they were previously uh, these bright green, uh, like shiny eyes. It's now like a sand-like color. This is this, this so light brown. This creature on the throne, is it like a movie or is it like this is like a, another carving or such? Or is it like an no, actual, this is, like a living this is, this being is, on the throne? You it's are pretty sure this is Grumbar. You okay. are now. Then why is he gotta go possess this dude? To well, let me finish to setting the scene for you. Maybe you'll find out. <laughs> Bro, he's too powerful to talk to us but by himself. Well, because I was like, well, maybe um, I thought it was just like a statue or like an effigy um, of him and it wasn't rock, animated. Rock, man. He's wrong. And Grodir begins to speak. I shall now use my speaker to communicate with you, as sadly experience shows that hearing my voice in person could drive you mad, and he kind of nods at Lazarin, which mm -hmm. unfortunately is something that Lazarin can tell you all about. So, I am Grumbar, lord of all that is earth, and I have been waiting for you. Lazarin, my champion, you finally came to me. I'm sure you have questions, so feel free to ask. I owe you that. I will just sort of look up at him, not at Grumbar. Um, Wait, you're looking at Grodir or Grumbar? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> right, I figure, I not figure looking at Grodir, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. Sorry. My bro they have very similar names too. Yeah, it's almost like the naming convention kind of got picked for that reason. <laughs> yeah. It's the girl. Oh, yeah, Grumba. Oh. My name's like the Lazarin, it's like Gnota Ganel. Gnota Ganel. Yes, I'll look up at Grumba. Mm -hmm. Um And I will just I say I have no real questions. Um Though I come with a warning that the Nightwebs know our moves. And they know what we are planning. Explain. And they trap. I will then cast Expedition. Tell me <laughs> what I saw. About the vision um, of the meeting. Yeah. This provides... Complications to our plan. I will inform the other Elemental Lords. It seems... Some of the dragons have slipped beyond, behind, through the cracks. That's the word I was looking for. That was me struggling, not <laughs> Grumbar. <laughs> um, I'm your mighty Lord Earth. What's that word? Oh, what's that word? <laughs> He's translating from primordial. You know, like, true. That is yeah, true. There's, there's, true. there's not a word for it in, in English. It's a primordial word, and there's like no direct translation. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, guys. What's the common equivalent of? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I will inform the others and. Once we have a solution, we'll reach out. Thank you for the warning, though. Of course. I mean, the main thing is, what what do you need me to do? Or why? I mean, I kind of understand why my family bloodline, maybe. That's to your own choice, but... Your family has been in my service for eons. Dating back to the first of your bloodline. Unfortunately, it is not always clear which generation gets the ability or gets chosen as champion, which is why I, when I reached out to your father and his father before his, came with unfortunate consequences. But now that I found my champion in you, I have been working on a solution. And the large elemental being lifts his hand and kind of makes a fist. And as he opens his fist again, these two uh, greenish gems kind of appear and they float towards you. You can make sure that these reach your family, father in particular. And he touches them. 
anything any bad side effects of contacts I've had with him should subside in time. I will reach up and grab them and put them in like a bag. Okay. I'm sure you've seen the murals on your way down here and those have raised some questions, no? As you can see, yeah. Yeah. We, the Elemental Lords, have been waiting for this specific group for a while, though be it well, we expected one of you to be on the other side of things, but here we are. Defying Who destiny. Made them. I did. Millennia ago. The Earth speaks, tells tales of its past, but also its future. It foretold the next war. It foretold exactly what people would be there to stop it, would be present for it. And I made the murals to make sure that someone else could tell the story in case I would fall, and the Earth had no one to talk to anymore. But they, you know, it changed when one of ours touched it, like, that's... It. Because those murals merely depict, they depict your destiny. And given with Estitia's betrayal and some other things that have happened along the way, We've already altered the course of the prophecy. So it's less of a prophecy, and it's more of a, they depict, like, the path we're on in this moment, but if we make a different decision, or we do something that's like, oh, we're now going to go down this path, it'll change. A bit of both, I suppose. I was going to say, so by this current path, and I'll look over at Brooks. But we have—we can fix that. We have time. We've already changed it before. We just gotta keep doing it. That's what you're saying. That, that's what that says. Is that something along this line that this path we're on is wrong? We need to change further. Perhaps. I think the key for that lies in finding out more about yourself. And Rodier and Grumbar both kind of look at Brooks when saying that. Even as perhaps delving deeper into your heritage might give you the edge you need to avoid this destiny. I want you, Elazarin, as my champion, to take the heart of the land and use it. The upcoming conflict. I also need you present at the council, though where that will take place and when may have altered a bit, given the news you brought. I will reach out, and I'm sure Osuf and the others will reach out to inform you when the time comes. I forgot Kess's dad's name, didn't he? I was thinking like, All he can think is blue, he can't actually think of the name. Pursuit and it's so the like, rest. ingrained. It's, in yeah, we, we blue, only referred so. to him as blue. I think we've only heard his name like once or twice yeah. max. Yeah, I don't think I don't think mo many of us know his actual name. I, I don't know did. his actual name. Also for forgotten sure. it. Hmm. Totally. I, I also I forgot just, Kess's dad's I just like name. To so. it because it it's something the, the Great, right? Or like the Fair. It's right. Yeah, it's right. Oh, the Fair. Rosemary the Fair. I've said it four times this session. Sorry, man. We don't listen to you. Oh, no one listens to you. Um, yeah, we tune you out, bro. But yeah, anyway. 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 Just white noise. It is good to finally meet. I'm sorry it took so long and had consequences, but trying my best to fix it. Unfortunately, well, you are now in my domain, the elemental plane of Earth. 
which is why we can have this conversation, but I choose to use my speaker because, well, you've seen what happens when I speak. It tends to leave a nasty headache. <sighs> Same whenever Eliza speaks. <laughs> yes. It's one of the powers I have, you see, Davian, I can, uh, you know, tune oh, in. Oh, fuck. Sorry. <laughs> Got really split in pain. <laughs> I appreciate you making this pilgrimage, as it is... Well, it was more of a... You know, a step to take to finalize this... partnership. It's nice to have proper answers for once. I'll give it that. Which is why, if you have any questions or anything you'd like to discuss, now is the time. Because when you leave, Rodil will... Rodia will stay behind, as me and him have much to discuss. Oh. But I want you to take the heart with you. Okay, well, he he was going to tell me... Oh, um, are we in the chamber the... of the heart right now? Yeah. You're... Yes, I guess. So, yeah. <laughs> we met them at the chamber of the heart? Yeah, he's, yes, yeah. You're talking to Magni right now. <laughs> Meet me in the chamber of the heart. <laughs> oh, Accidental bow um, reference. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> there are uh, no accidents. The lore, the lore videos are starting to blend in with your thoughts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry. So go on. Go on, Laura. Magni. Uh, he was gonna pointing to Grodier. He was kind of gonna tell me um later about the the place where the other um. The, the hairless tabaxi like myself came from but if he's staying here then maybe can you tell me where it is like is it is it somewhere on our material plane and like on our map or no is it somewhere it is weird? the well how much do you know of your literally kind? nothing as it is very exceptional to see one of yours outside of the town yeah, and I, my parents insisted that I was, you know, born there, so I don't think I came from this place and was brought there, because no one wanted me where I was anyway, so why would you bring me there and then be like, no, gross, we don't want it. So I think I was just a, a fluke accident. I was supposed to be born wherever the rest of them are, and I just happened to be born you where I was. stem from a community of tabaxi that indeed have no hair. The hairless tabaxi were the first tabaxi originating from this continent, from Agrand, hidden away. It was when some groups decided to reject the destiny we had in store for them, the elemental lords, and they went on their separate paths, but once they left our domain on this continent. Let's just say that in with time their heritage, their roots that link to the elements, the elemental lords, but erased, which caused them to grow hair all over their bodies. For you fascinating. Well, you were born hairless, even though you were not born to parents that shared your lack of hair. But my best guess is that due to your destiny and your link to this group, and with that the Elemental Lords, you never developed hair growth. Because you are still very much linked okay. to us, in a way. This can make sense. I can... Okay, this this makes sense in my brain. She just does lots of processing. My fate, my eyes have like a loading screen behind them. I am sure this caused a lot of hardship and... Well, people can be very cruel to things they don't understand. And if any of that befell to you, then I am deeply sorry. But know that... Once this is all over, you will always have a home there. If that is what you desire. I mean, 
if you can make that work, sure. I have a feeling I have a different place I'm going when this is all over. Looks at the, the glowing see-through ghost body. But that is very appreciated. Well, I am um, glad I was able to give you a bit more context as to why you are the one, I suppose. And so this place where they live is in Agrand somewhere, just like not on a map? Like not it's on not on the map. maps. Not on any of your maps. As far as I know, it is at a place in Agrand that none of the colonists have reached yet. That as it is sense. where the elemental lords have their seats. Where we all elect in times of conflict, discussions, hidden. Part of the reason why this continent was hidden by a large storm, but something happened. Let's yeah. make that all disappear. Well, because clearly you needed us to get here, and most of us weren't already here yet. Perhaps. Perhaps that is why the veil that hid Agrind away had been lifted. Because it knew. Sense to me. Because the plane knew, the elements knew that a conflict was coming and we needed people, we needed outside influence to turn the tides. Perhaps that is why. Who's to say? Regardless, you are here now. You are on the path. Once it is time for this council, we will reach out. Is there anything else you need of me? You can reach me through a Lazarin. He'll know how to. Even if he doesn't yet. It will make sense. Um, excuse me, my lord. Yes? So, with a Stisha defecting, mm. what purpose do I serve? No, honestly, I don't know. But... You are still very much a part of this conflict, and typically when one elemental lord perishes, a new one takes his place. The new elemental lord of Plane of Water has not been dis has not been chosen yet. But when that happens, I'm sure he'll or she will gladly have you as a champion, as it is your destiny. No mortal knows the oceans and the water as much as you do, Vax. Even if you don't quite realize that. Take the heart, and when you are ready, let me know. I can transport you back to your plane. I can transport you to whatever you want, really. So let me know where you want to go. Good question. No. To specify whatever you want on the material plane. Walking yeah. bird. Well, I assume we couldn't go back to. What day are we on? When do we say we're going? When was the last leaving? Uh, well, this would be the second day since we've left. We want to go back to the. Go back to Aldalon? Bungalow. Go back to Aldalon? Go back to our house? In Aldalon? Yes, I have to make that. Yeah, I mean, it's been a long fucking time. Or well, it feels like it. Like two days. <laughs> That's three. the craziest part. It's, like yeah, been it's been a long two days, yeah. <laughs> it's, been a fucking... it's always been like three months of two days, you know? Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. <laughs> We've yeah. had like a day or two where we do fucking nothing. 
Do we have uh, time to do we that? We need a week. I have a feeling, Brooks, we don't have that luxury anymore. War I know. Anymore, like we have is still did. very much waiting for his champion and consorts to arrive to meet face to face. The city of Brass. Other than that, I don't know what your schedule is, but just make sure that oh. you're ready for whenever the summon comes. Yes. Where we could go to the city of Brass. I I cannot bring you there. Never mind. That is the you elemental know. plane of fire, and not. Let's just say that I would have job. to reach out to Kosuth, ask for permission, and. All paperwork involved. The visa, the visa situation. <laughs> well, not even that. The bureaucracy just, is crazy. Yeah, dude. Love it. It is. It's just going to be Man. more effort than I can currently spare. You know, of course. Because while I'm here, there is about ten other versions of me fighting a war up there. As he kind of looks at the ceiling. Oh. Oh, I feel really bad for distracting you now. It's all right. <clears throat> I will go up to the altar where the heart is, mm -hmm. and I'll pick it up. Okay. Like, how big is it? Is it like a ball? Is it like, like um, a... um, it is. It's like I pick it up. <laughs> yeah, it's like fist sized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah fist sized. Yeah, tennis ball. Um. If you want, you can add the heart of the land to your inventory. Oh, hell yeah. Bonk. Do I have to fucking attune to this thing? Uh, oh, I do. Oh, the prize chosen by the Earth's chosen champion. Oh, cringe <laughs> as fuck. I gotta fucking get rid of something. Uh, but uh, if you want to read out, uh, uh, you know, read out what it does to. Uh, oh, to God, I gotta read again. Hey, man. <laughs> This obsidian heart is covered with red crystals, seems to re oh my god, seems to be resembling veins. This heart growl oh my god, I can't read at all. What the <laughs> Holy fuck? Holy fuck. I'm having a stroke, hang up. Because <laughs> 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 I'm not wearing my fucking glasses. This like sounds like anyone it. else reading Koiba's messages. <laughs> Literally. I can't read without my glasses. It's true. <laughs> no, I usually can read with my like without my glasses on, but I like fucking hell. <laughs> Yeah, take back. Try again, try again, try again. Let me, let me move on to the other monitor that isn't like blurry as fuck. I think that's a little bit better. Uh, your monitor blurry? Because it's old. Uh, this heart grants the attuned champion with 30 feet tremor sense. Additionally, the wilder can use an action to stomp their feet on the ground, causing the earth to erupt. Every creature in a 15 foot cube at a point within 30 feet of the user needs to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, the DC of 14 or take 3d8 force damage and be knocked prone. I just say they take half damage and resist being knocked prone. When Agrend was shaped by elemental forces, it made it, spe it made it special compared to the rest of Keltlar. Elemental beings forming their own land, much like the gods did eons before. It all started with this heart. Without the heart, there is no life, and Agrend could just be a chunk of dirt floating in the ocean. Ooh. Dutch is, um, Dutch is sly way to keep the fucking Elasmin's feet on the ground rather than flying off in his dome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was no. Genius. I no. Can I do it yet? <laughs> that was by <laughs> accident, guys. On it. Oops. Yeah. <clears throat> Trying to Me? micromanage Koiba and balance him out a little more. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I, I would. Huh? Yeah. Me just no, also Koiba, flying. Look at all the perks of staying on the ground. The ground. <laughs> Crazy, also me. Man. When I forget about this, fly 30 feet in the end, go, I stomp my feet on the ground. Wait a second. <laughs> I cannot wait for all of our fights to be in like 12 foot high rooms. Um, right. but yeah. So yeah, that have, hurts me too. Actually, have that too. now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. <clears throat> so fucking Sugar Daddy Grumbars give me all the toys. I got a That's fucking ring. I got no, you're, a, cut, you're cut off after this. Most yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, like, this, this he's like, it. um, bitch, <laughs> now you gotta actually, like, fight in a war, I'm like, oh, I don't want to. Yeah, you have been, you have been conscripted. conscripted. Yeah, 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 I'm like, shiny. I don't, don't want to fight in a war, I'm so tired. He got the D&D &D equivalent of, hey, sign up, we'll get you a Hellcat. I'm like, hell yeah, Hellcat, <laughs> aw. All right. After 12 years of surfers, right? So, <laughs> ragtag <laughs> fuckwits. Yep. Where are we, go are we going? Are we going home? I think we're going home. Get us. Dude, 
auction coming up. Movies. Yeah, and when is that again? Yeah. How many how many days has it been? Uh, I want to say it was either five or seven days after, from the day we. Did left. we write down the calendar date in game? Because then I could tell you. Absolutely. It was okay. So what, the last time we were at Eldalon, I'm pretty sure it was ten days away from then, or seven days away from then. Oh, Fuck. Fuck. Oh, I'm check those notes, baby. Because <laughs> I can tell you the calendar date it is, but I didn't write down when the auction is because that is not important to my character. I also did not write down when the auction was. It was five days from when we were in Eldalon, so it's three days from now. So it's on the 30th, right? Septimon. Yeah, this oh, is like day two of being. Because, yeah. Mm -hmm. You left. Yeah, so it would be, be like three. The whole yeah. Jax thing was like one day, and then you traveled to Alphadil, slept. Right. Yeah, this is your Another second day away. Day. Yeah, this is your second day yeah. away. So three days. Three days away. It was, it was the twenty fifth that we were in. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, 20, so wait, what day is it today? Seventh now. Twenty seventh of September. Okay, yeah. so it's on the thirtieth of September. The 30th, yeah. yeah. There you go. The three days from we get. That's right. Oh, yeah. we'll I can I can then. transport you directly to your home. If you please. That would be wonderful. Alright. And how many days from now is are the rest of these things? I'm gonna say, say this. It's like yeah. two weeks. Are you sure about that? What, that I wanna go home? Are you sure? Don't you need to go where your family you is? Because you have gems to give them? Oh, I gotta go home, home. Guys, oh. where is Dagon's robot body right now? Also, uh, in oh, it's the in thing. the thing. Oh, it's in the thing. <laughs> oh, we can lose the body. No. no. It's only a robot. It's only a robot. No one cares. Okay, we're going back to the end. We're going back to the end. No, we want no, that body, bro. We need, to find, <laughs> we need to make one from scratch. We need to okay. go get it. Oh, you know how long it would take me to craft <laughs> that body? Bro, See, I, I, I wanted to I remind can, you that there is a giant. I can send. No, it's fine. I can send a message. I'll just send a message uh, to the bar owner and be like, hey, can you. Can you, can you like the airship paper? this? <laughs> can you mail us a giant? No, he's at the account. The account was right there. Just be like, special quest number two. I <laughs> pushed it in. Didn't have the heart. Over. I didn't have the heart to allow you to go to Eldalon and forget about Dagon's fucking robo body. Wait, wait, oh. hold on. If we message the bartender, say that he can ask for payment upon delivery to Eldalon. I'll send the payment for the yeah, delivery to we Eldalon. Can, we can. Work something out with we the Arcana kill it but... and come back. Why don't we just go to the Arcana kill and then teleport from there? Yeah, why can't we just use another teleportation circle? Because that's less cool. <laughs> I want to go. <laughs> it's we'll, less we'll, effort. No, no, he's going to send us back to the tavern. We're gonna oh, we're going we're back to, go to the tavern. All right, we're going to the we'll tavern. Teleport. And I'm like, wait, no, we need to go back to, and I can't remember the fucking name of the tavern now. But uh, I'll tell you. Hold on. Squeaking it's an alpha deal, that's all I know. Squeaking, squeaking Send us wagon? a tablet in alpha deal, dude. Squeaking wagon owned by yes. Black Dragonborn called Nissa. Yes, take us to the squeaking wagon in alpha deal. Because we've got some Please. stuff there. Please. Alright. That Very would well. be perfect, thank you. It's good to meet in um, person, Lazarin. Yes. First time I've heard that. I'm sure well, that in the conflict to come and in the upcoming council, your diplomatic view on things might provide will provide very useful. I can, I'll try to be as helpful in my servitude as I can be. As your champion. I know. And I will, like half bow to him. <laughs> like, not really sure what the formality here is. It's that like. <laughs> Grodir uh, kind of floats yeah, back down to the ground and his eyes, you know, go back to, to normal. He's kind of... Oh. And you see Grumbar kind of raising his hand and the ground begins to shake. And around you, this, this, this kind of like dome of, of ground begins to form, completely locking you in. And you suddenly feel... Uh, you have this like... You know, there's like roller coaster feeling in your stomach, like you're like the the, the butterfly, the butterflies, as you feel you being being just flung somewhere. And this lasts a few seconds, and then suddenly you emerge just outside the uh, kind of like behind the tavern, out of view from anybody, just straight through the ground. You emerge. And this dome kind of dissipates from around you. You are now in Alphadil, in the backyard of the tavern. Can I, can I, as once we get there, use 
from my consumed enchantment, use one of my nightweb detector charges and just see if there's anyone <laughs> around. What's the range again? 30 feet? 60 feet? 60. Uh, that. 60? Uh, no. Okay. Um, Tavern clear, it seems. I will tell the group that I, I activated that and there's nothing pinging. So, what do y'all do? Well, I guess um, we'll go pick up. What, kind of t what time of day is it? Yeah, uh, like uh, I'd say like late afternoon. Been... Yeah, because we had the longest part of the day was traveling to the mine. Yeah, was yeah. the that wasn't, just, that wasn't that bad. But like in the mine, you traveled, and there's also yeah. there's always the like, oh well, we were in the mental plane of Earth for this long, but who knows how long it is. So like, right now, you come back, and it's about late afternoon, like close to oh. sunset. When Sounds we get back, like I say, oh, oh Brooks, it to me. Brooks, you know how you were um, holding on to that gold f for me, that five gold? Actually, can you give it to Jax? Because he'll probably need just gold for supplies in general if we do end up fixing my body. So it's a start to what I can contribute. I will toss Jax the five gold. All right. I will forget that I have your five gold. Just and no, because it's your five gold now. <laughs> your gold. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I'm giving it to you because just because you'll need. Yeah. You'll, I'm assuming you'll payment. need money. To be so fair, I also kind of have like the party gold too because I have so much. Yeah. Because I sold everybody's shit that kept handing me. <laughs> mm -hmm. What is and it you then like I'm to going to guess that I'm being roped in to carry the body. Yeah. Well, I could do it too. I can strong. I can use my mage I hand and we can do the all of us taking like someone's holding one arm, someone's holding one arm, someone's holding a leg, and we're all just like <laughs> as a group <laughs> transporting. I say I think I actually have more strength than Bruce. you think. You think I'm going to do, do manual labor, do you? Nineteen. Or if we have time, we could get some sort just of like. Just. If we have time, we could go find like a a, a wagon to go. buy or like make a litter <laughs> or something to just like drag it with. You can even no. just tie a rope to it and just I mean, put the rope and just drag it behind you. Between the two of us me, me and Brooks got it. it. We're good. Like, we're not, we're, we're plus, plus four boys. Easy enough. Plus four boys. Okay. I'll I'll still be walking nearby into that little kid way. Like I'm helping by summoning a mage hand. There's still a mage hand holding up like a shoulder or something, and it's like totally <laughs> helpful. Okay. A toe. <laughs> it's not five pounds for us. Yeah. So, as you, <laughs> or ten uh, pounds or whatever it is. As you go to collect it, uh, you venture towards the Arcane Guild. Is there anything else you want to do mm -hmm. in the meantime, or are you just going? Or are you not ready to go? Just going. We're getting the fuck out of. There's the no like magic shop here, is there? No. Well, well just the Arcane okay. Guild. It's not really a shop. You would be able that, to get yeah, that, that would make from sense. the Arcane Guild. And they probably yeah. wouldn't sell shit to us. Yeah, no, they we, don't particularly like outsiders we, anyways. So. We very politely thank Nissa. That's all right. And then fuck off. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so you make your way to the Arcane oh. Guild, um, and as you enter... We might want to disguise ourselves before we teleport to go places. Like, doesn't matter how much we disguise ourselves, we're going to be standing out like anything. But yes, I suppose. Well, that's just what we're told we should do. Uh, I will. Just in case, especially if we're going to Elder One. Yes, it's true. I'm covered, uh, but I don't know what you guys got. Yeah, fuck it. This we need to be like desperate times, different measures. Um, I will take out like a s small dagger and I'll start cutting off like my hair. Shit, like, okay. A very <laughs> short length that one can manage with a dagger. Um, and then I will like hide any jewelry that I have like around my neck um, and just try and like rough up my own clothing and stuff and just try and make it look very like celestial like anything that's like jewel that could come off without damaging the clothes like fully if that's just like being popped off and like just trying to make it look more ragged and less uh, like shiny basically <laughs> like less fancy he's being a bitch being smart yeah. Thing I'll, I'll think actually I'll fully take off like my like coat that I have and just like just be in a shirt and like my arm, my a shirt and armor 
you know, I'm still in like fucking plate or whatever. But like, we're playing um, on half plate. Or has he got full plate? I got full plate. I got mithril plate. Oh sh! Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Oh yeah, I'll take off my jacket um, so I don't look too rich in full fucking mithril true. plate armor. Yeah, but there's a difference, though. Dude. No, there's not. Anyone it... that looks at that and knows what that is, <clears throat> kill you for it. Yeah, exactly. But unfortunately, that's like twenty five hundred gold minimum. Oh, Lazarus is also not used to like yeah. wearing plate. So I will cast like... disguise self to Minotaur number three. Minotaur, Ooh. Minotaur, Minotaur. Okay. I mean, I guess I should uh, hitchhike with someone since I'm a very conspicuous. The ghost of Axie, not conspicuous at all. I wrote a poem. Yeah, I can't. About a I minotaur. can't hitchhike with Davian or a Lazarin <laughs> at the moment. So I just look between Brooks and Jax and go, who, 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 who wants, who wants a buddy? Heads or tails, uh, Brooks. Eyes, <laughs> just like a one and a two is heads, a three and a four is tails. I don't mind having Dagon hitchhike with me, so. Right, what was you, anyways? Okay, so I'll 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 hitchhike with Brooks. Okay. Right. Reach. Anyone else doing anything today? It just calls pets. I don't like that. Are they pet? He's turned into a hag. I'll read pet. Read. Yeah, all right, auntie. All right, shawty, uh... relax. Oh, say that again. <laughs> sure. A little slower this time. We are uh, making like Jeff. Take it back now, y'all. <laughs> <clears throat> so, anyone else doing anything to their uh, looks, or is that it? Yeah, I'm making sure that all of my clothes have been thoroughly mended. I'm fucking casting mending on. <laughs> I will cast mending for you. Oh, huh. there you go. Get fucked, Elazarin. This is why you're first. I've, I've been, I've literally spent most of my time trying to destroy my own clothing. I ain't fucking repaying anyone else's. <laughs> <laughs> this is hurting my soul. <laughs> this is why you're first. Oh, you know. So, you uh, you know, you you find the same elvish individual that transported or that or that welcomed you. Um, do all of you look different, or is there one of you that didn't change anything about their looks? I mean, I, what can I really change? You know, mm. I mean, I, it, I mean, it, I can it, disguise you if you want. Yeah, I'd say the the cloak's a bit of a giveaway, so I'd have to take that off and probably stash it. The bird's a bit of a giveaway. Yeah, and that's fair. So, Onu's gonna go. Onu could go in someone's backpack. Oh, he's a big bird. <laughs> in someone's backpack, sell... just entire stork head. Yeah. <laughs> I just out of the bag of holding, you just see the stork. I, we, oh, I could turn Onu invisible. I mean, I, I, I could just turn mm, him invisible. I'm thinking about seeing invisibility idea, there. But... Yeah. yeah. Well, look, what else do you want me to I, I doubt a disguise kit will allow I mean... me to make him not look like a fucking bird. <laughs> I mean, oh. to be to be fair, like for this point, it is more for an Eldon side than it is here because they already know that we. Yeah. <clears throat> like any sort of hope of going through. Okay, fuck yeah, it. Okay, I, will, I will take the time to use my disguise kit to disguise myself and okay. anyone else who wants it. Uh, if you do that, like Elazar will ask you to like do something like to change his hair to be darker. Um, yeah, instead of like the I'm sort of dead. dirty blonde he has, to make it like black or like you've dark brown. You've gotta let me give you a mustache. That's the price. Nope, that's not it'll, happening it'll at all. It'll be really good. I promise. No, I not just Burt Reynolds just, mustache. Just, just fucking full Burt Reynolds. I, I just think you'd look really good with a mustache. I, I disagree. I and just you need can to take it off the moment <laughs> we get home. I'm not. No. I was gonna like turn just... Onu into an octopus because he's never an octopus. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> Onu is medium, and that's a big fucking octopus. Yeah. Yeah. To carry around. Well, mine's mine's like... to play... Get him to play dead when now calamari delivers. That's but he, he needs water, and I don't have a container that like. Does he? Could... Well, probably octopus not. But like, come on, like for the for the Can you know for the role play of it all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, hey man, get a container that's smaller than his beak. He can fit in. That's right. Well, no, 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 that's, that's not how that works. It's actually octopuses. A gap that's smaller than his beak, you can squeeze through, but a yeah, container no. still has to hold all of his volume. 
you know, yeah, I know. and he's a very voluptuous octopus. <laughs> he's oh, he's oh, a very oh, sexy he's looking octopus. He's got that bunda. Okay, counterpoint. Just kill him and resummon him later. Okay. Um, well, I I could turn him into a different dog uh, if that's oh, permissible. Oh, yes. You can make him like a golden retriever. Yeah, exactly. Have yeah, him just make him like us. yeah. Yo, puppy Onu. Yeah, I mean, you are the one money. that decides to change him to the same type of dog and the same type of every time, right? Like you can alter that whenever the fuck you want. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this one that president yeah. though, he's like, no, it has to be these certain creatures. Well, angry face. I, I like to think that Onu has agency. You know, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, but you can up. ask him nicely, like, hey, like, <laughs> oh, no, please, uh, please, yeah, be, that... please be a dog retriever, please. <laughs> oh, oh, no, please. Yeah. He's like, oh, no, oh, no, he's just like, no, he come crawling back. <laughs> uh, anyway, remember that time you said I was shit? Yeah, <laughs> right. Which time? Because you've said it so many times. I'm I'm disguising myself and a Lazarin. Okay, cool. So you spend time doing that. Um, Sick. Is that everyone? Does anyone else want it? Davian getting the treatment or or not? Yeah, I yeah I need some kind of I don't know eyeliner or something. Okay. Give him pointy ears. And make him look like he leads a glam rock band with fake Elvis ears. And no, everything. we need to look g generic. To be fair, Davian oh, already yeah. looks pretty generic. I'm just gonna. Davian is already the king. Of the, the, the joke tiger. is literally we just put Davian's hood down and just like tie up his hair, or if it's normally tied up, we let it down and that's it. I like, like the idea. I like the idea. Give him a pair of glasses. Like his makeup palette. Give him a pair of like... glasses, and then just wait. No, he has the eyes of my new seeing, so he does have glasses. He does have glasses. So I take the glasses off. <laughs> and then you, you Clark Kent it up. There you, you go. Clark Kent you Superman disguise. angle. I like yeah, yeah. the idea of, of sure. the cape there. goes away, the glasses come off. So it's yeah. You, you are it's a weird Clark hype. It. That's what we're gonna do. I love okay, it. Okay. Sure. I just think it's hilarious. I just have this image of Brooks like doing a Lazarin's makeup and like. Disguising him with Dagon like half sticking out and being like, no, 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 do you this, to... no, do yeah. this. <laughs> well, that's, I'm not getting makeup from you. I'm just, I just need to change my hair. <laughs> Stanley, I've bit. got to do your eyebrows. No, you don't. Oh, yeah, yes, I guess you're supposed to do. You know, if it doesn't match, it doesn't match. And if I'm doing your eyebrows, and you know, I might, as, I might as well just do your whole face. I love well yeah, like, But as, as we... you're doing his eyebrows, I'm just like, they're sisters. Remember, they're sisters, not twins. And I'm giving you like makeup advice. Okay, but as we, uh, you know, have gone through the whole, the, the segment that took way longer than it should have, as the, that was <laughs> altering your appearances. Sense. Um, when you approach this, 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 this guy that welcomed you before, he doesn't recognize you. So he just, uh, can I help you? We'd like to use your teleportation circle. Please. What do you think this is? I will give him, can we get it like a, did we get a letter that we could, that was the previous, like, Go to them. Is that what we had last time for our, our past? This is me asking the DM. When you <laughs> arrived, you, you were just teleportation circle. You were just well. They were informed that a group from Eldilon was going to be arriving and uh, using the services. I see. Hey, we we came in early. We just looked different. Long story. Let us use the fucking teleportation circle, please. Make a persuasion check with disadvantage because you really have asked that. Yeah. Yeah, like I've got other shit going on. <laughs> yeah, like killing the rest of the party. I asked nicely. It's like, um... Uh, well, Nat 20 is out the window because it was disadvantage. Uh, mm -hmm. Deception? No. No, no, persuasion, no, but it's the same persuasion. thing. Persuasion? You're not lying. Oh, same for me. 22. You're not lying, brother. Uh... True. I just, look, <laughs> man, I defaulted to deception, okay? He's too used to lying to the party. Um, yeah. This is like the classic Kingdom Come thing with the, the guards catch you, and you can just be like, I'm on a very important mission from the king. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, what? Um, okay. He looks at you and... Okay, follow me. And he guides yeah, he you. Bought it. He bought it, and... boys. Gives you the instructions that you need to be teleported, and uh, this familiar fuzzy feeling takes over you as you suddenly see the room around you change, and you are now in the um, what's the word? The the the, the house of the uh, the council slash uh, the the empress um, emissary, uh, and as you kind of appear. Make perception checks. Oh, oh I don't like 
like that. I don't. Why? Why did you have to do Ooh. that? Oh, I rolled oh. Like it. I Twenty-four. Like it. Eleven. Eleven. Four. Fourteen. Thirty. Twenty. Thirty. Twenty. Six. Everyone, even even you, uh, Davian, you hear this. Oh. You see, it was very low. Was it above the ground? Like shakes. Six? And you peer through a window nearby to see Aldilon in a state of panic. We citizens, forgot about the dragons! Citizens running, the, oh. running around the streets and these clouds of poison and pools of acid falling from the sky. And as you look up, you can see... Yo, let's go back. Two <laughs> large dragons... A black dragon and a green dragon wreaking yeah, havoc go back. on the streets of Eldilon. And we'll pick it's it up around. next week. We should go fucking Chroma Conclave to some of the No! no. We, forgot, we, forgot, we had the vision, we forgot to be like, yeah. yo, Grimbar, about that. Yeah. We also, there was this thing that we saw, like, what's that about? Oh. I didn't well, think it was no, gonna be this quick, Well, I actually brought it up, but, like, it, it looked, you know, it looked like the, the, the council meeting was gonna be, the council meeting is in the, you know, the fucking yeah. Elemental Lords. This is, yeah. seems to be a separate occasion thing surely tied to, be, to it but definitely not what definitely not the because the other one was team at like herself being like yeah. what's up bitches this um, is more like question real quick mm -hmm. were they like big ancient dragons or like small baby, baby dragons? dragons baby dragons make um was it a it's like i'm ancient too make, so i would know other ancient check fuck it are the dragons what? younger than jack can i make how about like sure. a yeah, no, actually, that, yeah, yeah, with, with advantage because you're you're the you're the ranger you, you know this yeah, I can't wait two. to find out these dragons are younger than Jack's. Fourteen. <laughs> oh my god. One with a net one. Two. <laughs> the other one was a three. Oh, actually, oh. I'll use my flash of genus to make that a nineteen. Wait, wait. Okay. Before you do that, mm -hmm. oh. did I close my character sheet already? Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I get like five of them a day, so like, it's not like I'm wasting it really. Wait. Got more. Loading. Loading. It's loading. <laughs> it's I have a plus loading. eleven, so fourteen. Okay. Both well, you roll a fourteen. Uh, I'm gonna boost my. So you got a nineteen, 19. with this flash of the uh, yeah, okay. These dragons look to be anywhere between eight hundred and twelve hundred years old, which would class Pretty them old. as ancient. Pretty and old. Oh, guys, we're we're going. We're gone. And there's just these, these clouds of poison and the pools of acid being dumped over the city. The city is in turmoil. The ground is shaking. And there's a state of panic. Yeah, you think given where we are, there would be like floods of people coming past us trying to get to the teleportation. Trying to get out. Nope, yeah. the fuck well, out. This is the, no, this is the private know. one in the, the house of the Empress Emissary. This is not. Yeah, yeah anyone who's keep. there is already gone. So, yeah. so. you, uh, yeah, we'll pick this up next week, guys. And no one thought to do? fucking send us a little message. Yeah! <laughs> no one's like, oh, I gotta still come back. back. I'll be honest. <laughs> you spent some time on a different plane of existence, Quiver. I'll be honest. I'm pretty sure they were Wait, busy but trying that, there's not like to fucking There's still like a 95% chance it goes through on a plane of existence, though. No? No, it's 50-50. Maybe they were just yeah, trying not to die. Sure. All I'll say is they tried to contact you and they couldn't. Oh. Damn. No. That's all I'm saying. Well, um, Rumbar fucked hey, us, man. Hey, by the way, guys, there's dragons here. I mean, from what you can see, is that this assault has only recently begun. This is not something that has been going on for hours and hours. This is very, very yeah. much. Uh, you're at the beginning uh, stages of this assault. Oh, God. We're going to So, we'll, uh, oh, no, no. we'll pick this up next week, y'all. Time to pull out the glass. Ah! I'm so glad. Uh, I kept with that said, though, yeah. you do level up. We do level up? You do level up. That means we heal. You heal when you level up. You yeah. Heal. No, no, no. Wait, no, so we, 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 we looked this up for my campaign. You do. Technically, do. Wait, Rules is how written. much do you no. heal? You only go up by the health that you gain. Oh, well, okay, fair. Oh, okay. That's right, fair. Yeah. So, like, you don't go back to full. But so whatever you would gain. I got really game. excited for a second. Yeah, yeah, my max yeah that's fair. That sounds, that sounds like actually, 10. that sounds right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that does. But yeah, well, uh, so, I mean, that's half the I'm weirdly just going to have another spell slot. Yeah. Oh, I have to think. Leveling up for me is thoughts. I'm gonna have to fucking. Oh, oh dude, I get one. sick shit here. Oh my god. Oh my god. So cool. fucking losing I've, the I've, mind. Dude, no, I've been looking up for this. I've been waiting for this ability for so long, Guess man. Guess what? Guess what? what I get now? What? I could fly. 
Oh right. shit, let's go. Time to roll my health. Oh, it's an eight! Oh, Guys, I rolled more than two on my health! It let's was an go. eight! Let's go! He's right. above 50 health, guys. Uh, okay. He's done it! He's done it! I think I roll these boys, okay? So, can we roll an eight? No, an eight. Okay, D6. Oh, I don't know. Let's I, go. I don't know what I'm leveling up. Oh, if you don't know, I rolled, I. I rolled okay. a five on the D6. You can roll one of both. If you don't know, just roll one of both. Oh, roll one of both and you put everyone you go with. I, so I either get an ASI or an ASI. Huh. What does that uh, mean? Oh, ability, ability score. score improvement. Improvement. If, I, oh. if I level in Monk, I get uh, level He's 8. A... So I get an extra key point and an ability score improvement. Or I get level 4 on Or barbarian. I get level 4 Barbarian. Guess what else I can do? I'm at 66 health, score baby. Improvement. I can it. fly and I can cast I invisibility can. on myself twice per day now. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. So I think I think I just take. I get there six level know. spells now. I don't think uh, I get anything for leveling up. Nice. Bro, I can't I even use my thing you... until we long rest. God. You sure. Uh, what are you in? I oh, either go to level, lo fifth level warlock or seventh level ranger. Like that's just. Seventh okay. level okay. ranger gives you like something good, doesn't it? How much are you good. planning to go into warlock? Because I would be tempted to leave it. Dude, oh. brought the warlock honestly. Well, fifth level warlock what? would give you well, level three think, spells. Maybe think what thematically yeah. you do, because we just had yeah, that whole well, meeting talking about elemental lord <laughs> destiny shit. So your warlock thing might be thematic because it was Kasuth related. A lot of what we just did. I don't know. I rolled an eight, by the way, Dutch. Okay. On my D twelve. Uh, uh, seven level hunter. Level level seven, level hunter seven level ranger gets uh, yes. like one of their sub subclass features. I don't oh, know. I think it's something. I, I was gonna say I don't think I was something seventh level, but I forget what your subclass for ranger is. But which asshole feet do I want to take? Beast I'm gonna go up to a whopping beast master. Beast master? seven hit points. Uh, at level seven, beast master gets exceptional training. When your companion doesn't attack. Oh, this is old. This is outdated based on the um... Tasha's cauldron. Um... Right. Optional so, features anyway. Wait, here, I'll look up Tasha's True. then. But the beast attacks now count as magical. That's, That's cool. cool. That's Helpful. it. That's all that would change. Yeah, I mean, we'll figure this out. Uh, up to you. Um, yeah, but we're going to leave it here. Thanks for playing, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed today's session. Can fly. Uh, I'll go. I'm, so te I'm so tempted to take Next the week's going to be an interesting one. <laughs> it's a good time yeah. to fly if we're dealing with dragons. <laughs> But thanks for Looking watching, everybody. My Appreciate you. And uh, we'll be here again next Sunday. Take care, y'all. Bye-bye. Bye. I went ranger and I rolled a five. <laughs>